A young man with a dog is standing in the middle of the road. It is surrounded by skyscrapers, cars and absolutely empty streets where there are no people not a single living soul. The guy is standing on a puddle that reflects this city in a completely different way. The young man looks into the distance and thinks that he has never been so close to the center in his life. Everything in the center is so different from the life that goes on behind the wall. There is chaos raging behind the wall. Numerous human casualties and everything is covered in darkness. Animals mutate into scary beasts. Ordinary people live in oppression and fear. At the same time, this is the first time a young man has experienced such a strong sense of oppression. That day his carefree life ended the games ended. While blonde guy appeared in front of the students whose eyes are scarlet and his teeth are sharp like thorns. He looked at the school children his prey licking his lips predatory behind him were those mutated into terrible animals. The blonde guy looks at the students and says with a grin that his snake which is behind him likes to eat the tender meat of students. Today his precious pet will eat heartily all the students will become lunch for his sacred beast. One of the young men who is a student tells his comrades to run to the scattering and he will try to detain the monsters because he has no other way out. Three huge lions appear in front of him which are so huge like skyscrapers located in the city. The lions attack the young man and he flies into the shop window the fragments of which scattered all over the sidewalk. The young man's name is Hanzai that's how one of the students addresses him noticing that he flew into the window. The student shouts to see to detain the blonde guy and the monster a little more because they are going to call the teacher for help because they themselves will not cope and will suffer losses. As the students run away Hanzai wipes away the blood and changes his face. His eyes radiate coldness and his gaze is sharp like 1,000 knives he sighs with relief and says that now no one will get in the way. The blonde guy laughs and mockingly says that really Hanzai is counting on this little puppy who is standing next to him. The puppy hearing this calls furiously bark and red-black lightning bolts fly out of it. Herman Gon attacks the guy but he easily stops the snake. This action surprises the blonde guy he does not understand how this is possible. The villain sets the lions on Hanzai but their attack is unsuccessful. A huge dog appears behind C with a fong on his ear. This dog is the same small harmless looking puppy now he is huge. His father is black like resin and his aura is oppressive. Before all this Hanzai was an ordinary 19 year old boy he and his class came to the ceremony of determining the contract beast. People gather in the square they are all excited because today is the most important day for them. People in the crowd are discussing who will become their contract beast. People are discussing who they would like to see as a beast. The girl from the crowd smiles awkwardly and says that her requirements are quite low because she would just like someone with a small percentage of combat capability. Another says that the main thing for her is to become a contactor and what kind of creature she will get is the tenth thing. The girls who are Hanzai classmates are wondering who he will get. Hanzai hears that they are discussing him and starts listening to what they are saying. The teacher approaches the ladies and says that Hanzai is the best student of the Faculty of Humanities teacher's note has developed. Mental strength as contract beast is clearly not going to be simple and in the future. He will definitely be a great man. The girls switch to Hanzai classmate Wang Kind. They discuss him saying that he is second in everything but from an influential family however. He is not even close to Hanzai. Wang Kind approaches Hanzai and offers him to face off again to check whose beast will be cooler than him or not. Hanzai refuses saying that he is not interested. Wang Kind is offended by the answer for how such a trash from the slums his side dares to think that he is better. All students approach the contract tower. Hanzai hears a voice asking him what he wants. At first the guy does not understand what is happening but then he remembers that. The teacher said that his thoughts can resonate in space and the tower can talk to him. If this is indeed the case, the young man says that he wants strength in order to explore this world. Then everything disappears and a teacher appears to Hanzai informing him that it is his turn to enter the tower. Hanzai enters the tower and stands on the circle of elements which should take him to the altar. He is transferred and the altar of contracting opens in front of him. He walks up to the altar makes a puncture on his finger and drips on the altar. A pillar of light appears from the altar. Hanzai remembers the teacher's words that everyone can choose from five minutes six organisms, but for some reason there are hundreds of them in front of the guy. He chooses a red bubble that seems familiar and familiar to him. He gets a seal in the form of a puppy on the palm of his hand. There are two types of factors that affect the development of the strength of a contract beast primary hand acquired. Often when concluding a contract a beast with primary characteristics that are inherent in any level is obtained. But a contract beast can be developed by training and then it can grow to the highest level. But it's a long time. The Tower of Contracts is the last stronghold of hope in the confrontation with wildlife today. Initially, it was the closest parallel world to Earth. But a few decades ago, a thick haze hung over the entire planet. Since then, all living organisms besides humans have mutated, and the living space available to humans has shrunk significantly in size. At the moment when people were building high walls to protect themselves from the mist and mutated creatures contract towers appeared. These towers appeared when they were so necessary for people. People who are able to tame large animals finally have a means of resisting the wild elements. Some said it was the end of the world. Others called a divine punishment for the terrible attitude to nature. 
hands I call this process natural selection. Everyone standing on the street noticed red lightning over the tower where hands I was they looked at it with surprised eyes because red lightning means that he was chosen by heaven. Five minutes before some of the students who received their contract animals were unhappy with this. One girl even fell on the asphalt in bitter tears. She cries and says that before that she joked that she would be happy even with a small blade of grass, but she could not even think that she would really get a blade of grass. One of the teachers says that everyone who got weak contract creatures should not lose heart although they will not have combat power, but the state will not leave them with nothing it will find them the use of their forces. One of the students asks the teacher why most of the high-level beasts are foreign magical level beasts. The teacher looks gloomy and the answer is that this question interests not only her but the whole country domestic. Animals are extremely rare for contactors even when this happens such animals animals turn out to be extremely pathetic and weak. Lightning strikes the contract tower again and this is an unprecedented sight because Hanzai is inside. Students turn to teachers and ask what is happening with the altar did Hanzai get a legendary level beast. Wang Main is most displeased with such increased attention not to him but to the garbage from the slums of Hanzai. Mayor who is in his office is watching all this spectacle. One of his subordinates says that it seems that a top level beast has reappeared in their stronghold city. Now there are freshmen there and apparently it was Hansai, who was one of the best among the students. One of their subordinates suggests to the mayor to do something, but then says that first they need to observe the students. Everyone in the city is also watching how newcomers sign their contracts. And apparently, by the scarlet glow in the sky, someone got an unimaginable beast. In a doorway, a bully pinches some student demanding that he hand over his contract beast to him, but his attention is also attracted by the scarlet glow above the tower. A small shepherd puppy appears in the Hanzai Tower which reminds the young man of a childhood pet. He takes the puppy in his arms and heads out of the tower, right at the exit. An icon appears in front of him on which it says the contract system is tied. The system congratulates the host because they have successfully contracted a beast of legendary level the devourer of heaven. He was offered a gift because he is a beginner Hanzai says he knew he couldn't get an ordinary shepherd dog, so getting him a legendary beast wasn't surprising. Hanzai comes out of the tower where everyone is looking forward to his appearance. He comes out with a sleeping puppy in his arms and everyone sees it and starts laughing furiously. They say they almost watched the end of the world over the tower here and in the end, he came out with this strange little mongrel puppy is this really his contract beast? Everyone mocks him because the best student of the humanities faculty, the hope of all teachers turned out to be a clown and a laughingstock. Hanzai turned out to be a colossus on clay legs. Some say that they have never communicated well with him because they would die of shame now. Now all the students want to make friends with Van Kind, who has a truly legendary beast. Wang Kind blokes Hans' path and tells the second that he is a rat from the periphery, whose place is in the gutter. Hansai doesn't seem to hear Kind he scratches the puppy behind the ear and asks him if this cretin who is standing in front of them is bothering him to sleep. Wang Kind offended by these words, calls his legendary beast's name Behemoth and asks him to show this ditch paint what a real beast of the legendary level looks like. In the alley, the bully still kills the student taking the bat beast from him. He asks this mouse if she has determined the location of the student who caused the scarlet skies to four Hanzai becomes his new prey. Onlookers surrounded Hanzai and Wang Kind chanting their names and calling for battle most people do not believe that Hanzai can do anything because Wang Kind is the son of an official and he has more strength. Wang Kind looks down at Hanzai and gives the behemoth the command to attack the second. The hippopotamus runs towards Hanzai and the puppy barks at him and unleashes black lightning. The behemoth accelerates and makes a jump to attack but then something sharply pierces him through and he falls exhausted to the ground. Wang Kind runs up to the behemoth sits down next to the beast and asks what Hanzai did to his beast. A teacher approaches them and says that they have had enough. Once you manage to get a legendary level beast it does not don't mean that you need to be so proud and exalted against the background of others. If Wang Kind does not change his attitude to the case and others then even with such a beast, he will not be able to achieve great success. How many times had his teacher taught him that until he gained control of his beast, he needed to be careful with it. It was not worth running until he learned to walk. Hanzai looks at the puppy and asks if he defeated the hippo but Blackie apps and it means no. The puppy starts tossing and turning and asks for Hanzai hands. The guy squats down and takes tarnish in his arms. And the girls watching this are touched by this gesture on the part of the young man. They ask Hanzai to pet the puppy and he lets them do it. One of the girls asks what the puppy's name is Hanzai says that he will call him Doggy. The girl who received the sprout as a bee smiles at Hanzai and says that he is a great fellow. Hanzai decides to see what his new friend can do. So he calls the information panel. The name is the Devourer of Heaven. The level is extremely high. The puppy is absolutely faithful to his contractor and the strength of the owner of the beast increases tenfold. Reading all the characteristics Hanzai understand why at one moment he felt very strong. 
A group of people who are the commanders of the University Combat Brigade comes to the square the blonde, standing at the head turns to Teacher Wang and asks him if they can take his students away for a few minutes. The girl says that they were attracted by the strange behavior of the tower and they would like to see the students. Teacher Wang says that tomorrow the students are divided into faculties and then the commander can talk to everyone in turn. But the girl says that she wants to meet the students right now. Van loves you to talk to students but asks the girl to know a sense of proportion when communicating with them. He tells the girl not to fall in love with students because there are other squad commanders who need fresh blood. Teacher Wang introduces the four commanders he says that these four people are representatives of the University Combat Brigade. Combat brigades are the main forces that defend the stronghold cities. He introduces the students and says that in front of them are two commanders Jiang and Zeal, as well as their deputies. Wang says that these people want to look for future members for their squads, but students should not make hasty decisions because they have time to think. Commander's ZIO. A red-haired girl approaches one of the students and asks her if she wants to join the second research unit. The girl smiles awkwardly and tells Commander's IO that she has come across a plant a simple blade of grass and there will be no benefit from it. But the commander comes even closer and says that she needs it in the squad. XYO uses his snake beast and attacks the girl who has to use the power of her plant. Commander XYO smiles and says that if she goes to her squad, then in the second semester his IO will take her to live and work in the thick of the mysterious darkness. The student asks to give her time to think and the commander agrees to wait. Teacher Wang, who has been watching the girl with the blade of grass all this time thinks that most likely this is some little known plant. Perhaps that scarlet heavenly phenomenon was not caused by Hanzai Dog but it was a belated reaction to this high-level plant. Hanzai leaves the square where he is overtaken by Wan Kane who shouts at his back that he has not finished with this rat yet. But Hanzai does not seem to hear his words and thinks only that very soon he will move to live in the very center and take his loved ones with him. It's sunny outside on eagle flies in the sky over the dormitory where Hansai is located a symbol of boundless power, victory and courage, greatness and spiritual uplift. In the dorm room Hanzai is sitting on the bed with doggy a system message, appears in front of him which invites the young man to open a beginner's gift set, which he received at the time of the appearance of his contract beast. Hanzai accepts the gift and a special dog food and a book on postpartum care for SOS appear in the air. The guy's face does not radiate a drop of joy, maximum misunderstanding and discontent. The system reappears in front of the young man and notifies him that an error has occurred and it will be corrected now. Hanzai sighs and says that the system is not working properly, but the only thing that the system fixes is that it replaced the book with the guide to the education of the devourer of heaven and added 99 packs of food for the legendary beast. These packs are stored in the system space. Hanzai takes the book and starts reading it simultaneously feeding the puppy with his hands. Cutie doggy along with a ball of feed bites the young man's brush and at this moment Hanzai takes the puppy in his arms, starting to scold him and say that he really needs to be brought up urgently. Hanzai receives a notification from the system that the physical parameters of the puppy have increased C realize that 1000% of experience is added to him from this feed. The young man turns to the puppy and asks him with a smile if he is hungry. Doggy happily yapped and jumped on the guy's knees began to toss and turn opening his tummy to be scratched. Hanzai strokes the puppy and says that he will take him to training so that he will not be bored alone while his owner trains and is out of the house. Hanzai approaches the training hall a strange old man is watching the young man, thinking that the guy is very interesting and it is curious to watch him because classes have not started yet, and the guy himself came to train in the morning. Hanzai begins his training with a swim in the pool where Doggy swims with him. The second stage of his training is running on a treadmill while the speed is maximum. Later after energy intensive cardio, he starts strength training where the main exercise for the guy is the army bench press. Hanzai finished his training and when his muscles ate pleasantly he sits down on a bench and a puppy lies down next to him on the floor. The young man strains his muscles and admires them saying that his workouts give a tenfold return and in this situation, the rocking chair no longer causes him the same disgust because now he likes to go to the gym. Han turns to Doggy and says that first they will go to the shower and after that they will go to eat. Hearing this the puppy happily explodes from the spot and happily wags his tail. In the shower hands he decides to check his indicators because he is wondering to what extent his body has strengthened in one lesson. His power points have increased by 100 units, which makes the guy surprised because it's fast and unusual. Valet will be extremely difficult for him to get used to such rapid progress but he is still happy. He comes out of the shower and picks up Doggy hugging him hard he tells him that this puppy is so healthy and cute. Two days later Hanzai and Doggy walk through the night city where neon signs paint the city purple. Standing at a traffic light Hanzai decides to check the system data namely the feed quantity. Indicators he turns to Doggy and tells Tom that he has eaten 93 packs of feed they have only 6 packs left. The guy size rubs his face and thinks out loud about where so many packs of food could have gone and he also thinks that he will have to work only for his food. He decides to replenish his food supplies first and then find a phone and calm down his family. Due to the influence of dense fog, 
People communicate by wired phone within the city. Hanzai enters a phone booth but is hailed by a blonde man walking with two other students. The blonde guy says he was just about to go look for him. Hanzai noticed as the guy stuffing money into his pocket. Han asks why they were looking for him did he really win the lottery and decided to share money with him. The blonde man smiles and says that he met Hanzai's sister who told him that they were looking for him all day. Because there had not been a single call from him. During all this time. She decided to sneak out of the house to find him and now she is hiding in a nearby alley. The blonde man slaps Hanzai on the shoulder and says that he has delivered the message so it's time for him. Hanzai says goodbye to a group of guys and walks towards the alley and thinks about his sister who was such a coward so she would hardly dare to wander around the city alone. But it is unlikely that Wang Kong is luring him into a trap. Firstly, he is not Hanzai's rival and secondly it is quite crowded on the street. But in any case, everything will be clarified later. The guy approaches the alley and doggy as if he is not himself begins to bark furiously into the dark void. Hanzai is attacked from behind by a bat which he dodges without realizing what kind of beast it is. A tall guy comes out of the darkness to him who laughs at Hanzai and says that the newcomers are also naive and he will not be able to escape. The man needs his fists and says that he has been waiting for Hanzai all day and notices doggy. The tall guy changes his face because he was told that the kid standing in front of him is the very newcomer who caused that strange scarlet celestial phenomenon. Is this puppy really really a contract animal which looks like a mongrel? The man says he doesn't care who the contract animal is. So he instructs the mouse to kill Hanzai with ultrasound and leave the puppy alive. The bat begins to squeal using its ultrasound power which causes an unbearable headache and it gets dark in front of his eyes and he falls into darkness. The man laughs and says that even though he is sorry to kill the genius novice, but he has long since come to terms with the injustice of this world. Doggy growls and does not allow anyone to approach Hanzai creating a red aura that looks like a wolf with seven eyes. Six large and two small, barely noticeable. Hanzai feeling doggy support, grabs the bat and squeezes its head. Han turns to this man and tells him that he thought this man would be more prepared and that's why Hanzai waited for him to show him the rest of the traps. The man starts spitting blood and Hanzai smiles madly at him. Hanzai holds the bat not giving it the opportunity to wake up and with a smile on his face tells a kind of hunter for contract animals that he expected more from him he did not think that he would turn out to be such a weakling who did not even come up with a strategic plan. A man who was dissatisfied with the words Hanzai heard reaches out to him threatening that he will kill him. Hanzai raises an eyebrow and begins to put more pressure on the mouse from which he tries so hard to escape from his hands. But nothing comes of it. She uselessly tries to beat the young man with her wings. But nothing comes of it. The man looks more restlessly at his animal and asks the mouse to fight with all his might to tear Hanzai in science. Han releases the bat and it flies to its owner who has joined his hands in a lock in front of him in order to strike at the guy. Hanzai radiates a red aura that looks like a huge dog looking like a wolf. The young man forms a red sphere in his left hand and attacks the hunter hitting straight into the solar plexus. At first, the hunter does not fully understand what happened to him. But immediately he hears and feels his chest break. Ribs and sternum shatter into splinters and a bloody ocean pours from the mouth of streams. The bat that flew to its owner understands that he is now extremely exhausted. But it does not change the trajectory of its flight. Then she is suddenly grabbed by the wing by Hanza, who tears off one of her wings with one movement of his hand. After which she falls to the ground and squeaks in pain. But the young man does not stop there and begins to trample the bat lying on the ground. Which no longer poses a threat. But he cares little because he bitterly she's being trampled. Hanzai's eyes are red and the devils are dancing in them radiating an extremely cold and dangerous madness. The young man's teeth are razor sharp and his facial features have sharpened, making him look more mature. The hunter who has been watching all this time how his animal is being bullied looks at Hanza with disbelief and whispers to himself that the young man's actions are simply unreal. But in the middle of his remark he abruptly grabs his hand which starts to hurt violently because his animal was injured by tearing off his wing. The man falls to the ground and starts frantically saying that all this is unreal. How can this little brat who just recently contracted some small dog have such power? The hunter begins to crawl away the words were his hand's eye. Who is coming at him? The man begs him to stop and not harm him. But realizing that just pleading won't help him he decides to use his trump card. The hunter tells Nasha that he knows where his family lives, how many family members and also where Hanzai himself lives. Hanzai smiles and says that he knows a lot but anyway, this man's life is now in Hanzai hands, because he will decide whether to live or not. The hunter starts babbling that there will be justice for Hanzai, but Han as if not hearing him steps on his shin and breaks it. Hanzai looks at the lying man with a mad look and tells Tom that the hunter and the game have changed places. Isn't it true? He also scolds him like a guilty puppy and says that how such a cretin like him fancied himself a god and how he had the sense to threaten the Hanzai family. The man starts screaming and asking for help, but the young man grabs him by his good leg and drags him even further into the alley, where there is no lighting and nothing is visible. 
The man leaves a bloody trail on the tile because he raised his finger to such an extent, but the more he screams the more actively Hanzai drags him telling him that all mistakes must be paid for. Then a girl appears in the alley who turns out to be Commander's Io Ening. She shouts that whoever is dragging a person into the dark should stop and explain what is happening. XYO Ening is presented as a member of the combat brigade and orders everyone to stay put. Hanzai approaches XYO and says that the man who is lying on the ground is a hunter and he himself brought him here to attack and kill after abducting the beast. The girl looks at the man and asks him if what the guy standing opposite said is true. The hunter says that all this is true and he wanted to take away his contract beast by force, so he begs her to take him to prison and away from this youngster. XYO Ening asks Hans if everything was as the man said, and the young man shrugs, smiles timidly and says that it was self-defense. XYO looks around at these two and comes to the conclusion that it was an excessive self-defense. The hunter reaches out to the girl and says that he doesn't want to be near this monster anymore, which in his opinion is Hans' eye. The man stretches out his hand to XYO and notices that one of his hands becomes stone and cracks form on it. XYO Ening looks down on this crawling hunter and says that the combat brigades don't have the resources to keep such scum like him locked up. The man completely turns into a stone and the girl breaks it with her foot, and it shatters into small stone pieces. XYO Ening turns around and leaves the alley finally telling Hanzai that since he was injured in this situation, they will not spread much about this incident. So let everything that happened remain between the two of them. Hanzai looks after the girl and thinks that she did not act within the protocol violating some provisions are they friends now. XYO Ening turns to him again and says that the corpse of the deceased Hunter S contract beasts can be sold for at least 10,000. So if Han finds a buyer, he will enrich himself. Fearing this, Hanzai comes in shock and says in a dissatisfied voice that this worthless mouse is worth more than 10,000 and his parents managed to save a little more for a year of work. Hanzai looks down and sees his doggy savoring a mouse weighing. The guy takes his head size weirdly and says why his dog drags everything into his mouth. He also says that he felt a sharp surge of strength most likely the dog made him stronger. Doggy happily barks offering his master to join the meal. But Han says that he does not really want to and when he gets home, Doggy will swim. In the morning all students gather on the field where the teacher asks everyone to come closer. Wang Kai enters the field with his retinue who tells him that Hanzai is not a rival to Wang at all. And he is an ordinary nerd who has an extremely low level of spiritual energy. That Han is a coward because he challenged Wang Kai. Wang himself says that he communicated with Hanzai out of good intentions to find out whether he was with him or not and in response, received an insult. One of Wang's friends says that he didn't see Hanzai for a whole day yesterday. It's possible that he dropped out to avoid disgrace. Today, there should be a distribution to the faculties and Hannah Sam and their opinion will fall into the worst. The group led by Wayne Kine approaches the girls who are discussing something violently and one looks for Hanzai. Hanzai enters the field with Doggy in his arms, smiling sweetly at everyone present. Wayne Kine gloats and says that Hanzai's place is in the gutter and in the worst faculty. The teacher interrupts their skirmish that has begun. Hanzai and Doggy are standing on the field where they are surrounded by a crowd consisting of students of different ages and different different faculties. The girls enthusiastically say that since yesterday, the young man has become a little more pumped up what could have happened to him in just one day. Yesterday, he was like a worthless steel spear that would not harm a fly and today he appeared as a hardened spear made of silver radiating an aura of strength and confidence. One of the girls approaches the other and asks her if she noticed the changes in their classmates and she answers in the affirmative, saying that in front of her it's like another person who is broader in the shoulders and has more muscles. Hanzai passes by Wang Qian and looks at him suspiciously because yesterday's hunter in a dialogue with him mentioned that the man in black promised to take him to his team. According to Hanzai observations, Wang fits this description. Han looks at his classmate with a confident and heavy look from which Wang Kine changes a lot in his face. His unprecedented confidence seems to evaporate. One of Wang Kine's friends tells the second that Hanzai has indeed become bigger, healthier and seemed to look more mature. But Wang Kine says that he could achieve such a result if you want it. And besides, it's not so important because Hansi is the owner of a worthless shepherd dog and his muscles will not fix it. Therefore the development of his body does not change things much because the garbage will remain garbage in any case. Wang's friends cling to him like flies that have flown to honey and say that brother Wang is waiting for the future of a great warrior and Hansa with his body will take the maximum as a fitness instructor. Doggy is bored, so he fell asleep right in Hansi's arms snoring steadily. The teacher stands behind the podium and begins a speech he says that the distribution of faculties is the most important moment in the life of each of the students. So today the question will be decided in the role of whom they will resist the darkness and the creepy and dangerous mutants generated by. Students begin to furiously chant death to mutants, thus showing support for the teacher in agreement with his words. The teacher continues his speech and says that there are only three ways for students. Firstly, the combat faculty which is the most important in their turbulent times. 
The main tasks of the combat faculty are the fight against mutants and the opposition to the compression of the mist. There are two main characters in it the first old ma a tall and muscular man, a contract beast, which is a huge whale. The second King Kai is a slender and statuesque girl with eyes blue eyes and whose contract beast is a crystal phoenix, a bird of blue color and looking like glass. She was perfect for such a statuesque and beautiful girl. Also XYO Ening, who is already familiar to the students and encouraged them to join her group near the contract tower is a member of the combat faculty. Secondly, there is also a research faculty. This faculty mainly studies the haze and the organisms living in it. They study the nature of the mist mutating creatures and contract beasts. For example, the work of DR. Jung one of the most important persons of the research faculty has led to the fact that the area suitable for human habitation has increased by as much as two times. Thirdly, no less important is the faculty of logistics which is responsible for material and technical supplies. Graduates of the faculty of logistics are engaged in the material support of combat brigades. They organize the movement of people and goods. After listing all the faculties the teacher says that the introductory part is over and it's time to move on to the most important and exciting moment. The distribution when students hear their name they must go to the counter where the faculties they have been assigned to are registered. The name of the girl whose contract animal is grass is called. She was assigned to the combat faculty which made her and her friends standing next to her incredibly happy because students of the combat faculty get the most encouragement. But there were also those who were dissatisfied with the fact that John Zonin was assigned to this faculty because she was from the periphery and her beast was grass, which according to the school board turned out to be of legendary level that is possessing incredible power. Van Kane was also assigned to the combat faculty, but for the guy himself. It was not something unexpected big as it was obvious. Wang approaches Jiang and asks what kind of contract beast she has. But seeing her confusion, he gently smiles and introduces himself saying his name and that he is very happy to meet her. But the girl ignores him and turns her back on him. Hanzai is assigned to the faculty of logistics. After hearing this many begin to whisper because Han is the very excellent student who got a worthless shepherd dog and now he is being sent to the weakest. According to students, faculty, they say that Hanzai is just a joke of the year because such hopes were pinned on him and he let them down so much. He's just a disgrace because he studied so much and all his efforts went down the drain. Hanzai is about to leave when the teacher stops him and asks him to wait. Han does not understand what is required of him and the teacher clears his throat and proudly smiling at the young man, tells him that initially he really was enrolled in the faculty of logistics, but due to his high academic performance and other academic successes, the teacher after consulting with a professor from the research faculty offers the young man to transfer to the research faculty after all. Such a mind should not disappear. Hanzai blinks in surprise and some people from the crowd begin to resent the fact that Hanzai is a favorite and he has some indulgence indulgences that other students do not have. Someone in the crowd says that everything is fair and Hanzai is smart, so it would be more correct to send him to the faculty of research but the dispute continues and the dissatisfied say that Hanzai has a worthless and useless animal and his spiritual strength is at zero, so he will absolutely not help him in battle. Why and kind who is watching this thinks that Hanzai was not seeing all day yesterday because he was running around the offices and looking for someone to give a bribe in order to be accepted into one of the two best faculties. Hanzai after listening to the teacher's proposal without thinking twice, refused his offer and said that he preferred to stay at the logistics faculty. The teacher goes down to Hanzai and tells him not to think about what others will think because the young man himself knows and understands that his conscience is clear and he did not do anything illegal. It can be extremely dangerous at the logistics faculty so with his mind he can make a good career at the research faculty. But the young man smiles and says that he wants to stay at the faculty where he was assigned. Hanzai goes to his classmates from the faculty and they look at him with disbelief in their eyes. The guy will agree not for nothing to the faculty of logistics because only thanks to the resources of this faculty he will be able to feed his little glutton. Dobby, due to the fact that he will feed the puppy well and take care of him his progress in developing himself will be rapid and he will not even need a combat faculty for this. A blonde guy approaches Hanzai holds out his hand with the intention of getting to know him, but they are interrupted by a man who came on stage took the microphone and told them all to change into the uniform of the faculty to which they now belong, because now he wants to teach them a new main lesson in life. Students of the Faculty of Logistics and the Faculty of Combat stand opposite each other like two walls. Van Kind who is dressed in the uniform of the combat faculty, namely in a black jacket where the emblem of the faculty is emblazoned on the right side. His black gloves are on his hands. The young man thinks that Hanzai is a real loser who could not get here and let down not only the teachers but also his family. The guys from the combat faculty look at the largest stations like wolves that their prey. Hanzai puts on a logistics department uniform and examines it. The shape is unremarkable. 
It is a soft blue color. Some of his fellow students are dissatisfied with the appearance of their uniforms and say that they have a sucker uniform against the background of the uniforms of the students of the combat faculty, who looked much more serious. A man who recently came on stage says it is time for the first lesson. A huge gorilla jumps on the field from the weight of which a pit has formed on the field and the ground has cracked. The gorilla lets out a roar that sounds like an alarm in the ears of students. The aura of the gorilla is suppressed by the student and some of them fall to the ground, while the other part is still standing, but not as confidently as before the appearance of the gorilla. The man who as it turned out is one of the teachers of the combat faculty tells the students that they are very weak because even the owners of legendary level beasts immediately gave up and were afraid. But his attention was attracted by two students, Hans I and John, who remain standing in their place completely unafraid gorillas. The teacher smiles and says that this is very interesting. The man calls the gorilla to him and tells the guys that it's time for him to introduce himself. He is the commander of the 2nd Military Detachment of the Battle Brigade of the main city of Jinin Longyan. Longyan knows about fighting mutants firsthand. He tells the students that recently the activity of mutants has been increasing more and more but the ability of people to resist decreases if you do not fight with mutants. Then the chance of dying increases very much because in this case, they will flood all the territories and there will be more and more of them every time. If you give them a fight. You can also die but it gives others the opportunity to survive. Unfortunately, teachers do not have enough time to allow students to form his warriors to the end. Long Han says that the first test for students will take place right now he displays a video from the cameras on the screen, which shows how a portal is formed from which mutants come out. Not all students are satisfied with what they have heard and express their indignation saying that it all looks like a cruel joke because they can die there. And in general, they were only distributed among the faculty. Hansai didn't think that the time of the first test would come so soon, but this is a great chance to take a step forward. One in tells everyone to shut up and be quiet. He says that during the test, their safety will be provided by teachers and experienced security personnel during the test they will receive points for effective actions. The trial rules for obtaining points will be announced before the start of the test. The guys will work in teams of three people, but they will form a group on their own and they are given an hour to do this. The students hearing the words that they were given an hour began to panic. Some quickly formed groups while others tried to squeeze in at least to someone. Wang Kayan was surrounded by two of his friends who tearfully asked him not to leave them and be with them in the team. But Wang Kind himself wants Zhang to join him, but she refuses his offer and leaves. There was half an hour left before the start of the test and almost everyone was divided. Into groups Hanzai was in a group with guys from the faculty of logistics with a girl and a guy. The girl's name is Inzu she smiles sweetly and introduces her beast. Her contract animal is a wonderful spotted fawn with huge cute eyes and he is of the sea wreck. The guy's name is Zhu Y and his contract animal is a wonderful yellow mane goose of the sea wreck. And Zhu seeing the goose says that it looks so appetizing. Zhu Y hugs her goose and says that the girl is wrong and it is impossible to think about this at all. The girl says that she really does not understand what kind of assistant may be from a goose because the soup from it will turn out great. And Zhu wants to come over and pet the goose but the guy won't let her and tells her to stay away from his contract beast. Hanzai who is watching them introduces himself and introduces his dog saying that his contract beast is of the F rank but no one listens to him because they are still fighting for the goose. Shu Wai says that he will be the captain of the team because Han and N are so-so animals. Students gathered at the edge of the city Hanzai goes ahead of his team and comes to the conclusion that you should not count on any of them. While the test has not started, he can pump up a little. Teacher Wang tells the guys that if they encounter a real threat, the students should immediately call for help and then one of the curators who is closest will certainly be nearby and help them. Students enter the portal and find themselves in ruins. Immediately after entering the portal Doggy runs away from Han's eye deep into the ruins disappearing into the descending clouds. Han immediately runs after the puppy and asks him to wait because he can't run as fast as Doggy and the puppy is small that young so at least reduce the energy in him. The young man enters the clouds after Doggy and the first thing he sees is the people of the mist. Han was not at a loss because once he met them then he can warm up and besides these creatures look quite harmless. Doggy lies down preparing to attack and Han's eye gets into a fighting pose. Han's eye and Doggy take off right at the people of the midst who are bigger than them. The young man elbows one in the sternum where there is some kind of stone, and after that when he is enveloped by the power of his contract beast he punches through the sternum of this creature with a maniacal smile on his face. 
The nails of the young man have claws like a dog's and they are just as sharp which makes the guy's attacks more effective. Having dealt with the monsters, Hanzai smiles at Doggy and says that these monsters are low-ranked and almost plush. Then someone says out of the fog that he is very impressed with the young man Hanzai turns around and asks who is here besides him and Doggy. An old man comes out of the fog and says that he has come to return him to the others because the trial will begin soon. He noticed the young man yesterday when he came to train in the training hall. Han hearing this smiles because he was praised. He thanks the old man for his kind words and says that he is so embarrassed because he had to look for him. The old man smiling says that the test has not yet begun so he will not get points for the missed people who have just been killed. But the young man says that he just wanted to test his strength. And the old man comes up to him and puts his hand on the young man's shoulder saying that he is extremely brave and diligent. He wishes him success and more points because with them life becomes a little easier. And if he hones his skills in his free time, then he will definitely achieve success. Hanzai thanks the old man for his advice and asks him to explain what the glasses are for. The old man smiles and tells the guy that they first need to go back to the others because soon the commander of the combat brigade will explain everything to them. Han returns to Ensu and Zhu Wai, who have already begun to worry that their comrade has disappeared somewhere. An hour after the start of the test in the ruins. Two people in black raincoats are studying the data on the students who came to take the test. The attention of these people was attracted by Hanzai, whom they want to test first of all, because he can be useful. One of the people in the black raincoat turns out to be a red-eyed guy with snow-white hair and sharp teeth like a piranha. He says he understood the assignment but he will eat the rest of the students leaving only Hanzai. The students gathered at the defensive wall of the reference city where the danger sector is level 1 mist. In Zhu and Zhu Wai are standing near a stand with weapons a mobile weapon station Zhu Wai irritably asks where. Hanzai has gone and Zhu asks him not to be annoyed because the teachers have already sent a person to look for him. Then Hanzai comes out of the fog to them. Accompanied by an elderly man, Zhu Wai immediately flies up to him and angrily asks him where he went. Did he really want to leave them and escape from the test? Hanzai apologizes and says that his dog ran away so he had to go after him in the dark. And Zhu says that there is no difference anymore. The main thing is that he has returned to them. Now they need to choose a weapon because the test will begin soon. And Su gives Hanzai bracelet for scoring. The young man takes the bracelet from the girl and asks how it works. Hearing his question, Shu Wi tells him that if he hadn't run away and missed the briefing, he would have known and understood everything. Their team enters the darkness and Zhu Wai notices that in Su has only one dagger and asks her is it really enough for her to have just one dagger. Shu Wai says that her deer will be extremely useless in battle so the young man will have to be her protector. And Su tells the guy that he should take care of himself but she does not have time to finish the sentence because she freezes in chilling horror. Behind Zhu Wai is back as a man from the mist and the guy also freezes because the stinking smell of ice death is behind him. The guy turns around and manages to dodge falling to the ground and screaming in fear. Hanzai asked what happened and turns around to see one of his team members lying on the floor with a monster from the mist towering over him. And Zhu begins to laugh at Zhu Wai and says that he has shot himself badly which is extremely funny. Because the people of the mist are the weakest of the local monsters. Zhu Wai says that they remain monsters no matter what. Hanzai says that the people of the mist are very sharp so they are ideal for training strikes on the target. So you can finish off this monster quickly. Zhu Wai trembles like a leaf and tells the monster not to approach him. Because he will finish him off. Hanzai suggests to Ensu that they help Zhu Wai who is clearly not up to the task of destroying the monster. They attack the mist man but he does not fall. Ensu says that it is necessary to beat the core in the form of a crystal on his chest. The core on his chest is his weak spot. Zhu Wai swings his sword hits the core that it does not break because it is very hard and the monster attacks him. Save Zhu Hanzai who pierces the core of the monster from the back thereby saving his comrade from death and injury. The crystal falls and they pick it up. Zhu Wai says that he almost lost his life because of the penny glasses. Hanzai repeatedly asked how the points are counted and they begin to explain to him, for the man of the mist. As for the weakest of the monsters, they give only one point for a miss beast of the first level 10 points are given for a miss beast of the second level 100 points are given to count the points you only need to scan the crystal with a bracelet. Hanzai picks up the crystal and scans it. In comparison with the combat faculty the logistics faculty is placed in unequal conditions. With the help of the bracelet the guys can also analyze the corpses of creatures and get points for these actions. But for this they give only a pitiful number of points or over creatures like the miss people evaporate after death. So this means that they will not be able to analyze their corpses. Hanzai looks at his little doggy friend and the question pops up in his mind about what will happen if you feed him a crystal and whether it will benefit him. In the end he decides to feed the crystal to doggy and Zhu and Zhu Wai tried to prevent it but they failed. The girl sits down next to the puppy and asks his owner why doggy eats everything. Hanzai asks the girl why the puppy candy crystals and she replies that monster crystals are poisonous to contract animals. 
If ingested, he will instantly lie down and may even die. She picks up the puppy and tries to get the crystal out of it but nothing comes out and the puppy jumps out of her hands and runs behind Hanzai as if behind a protective wall. And Zhu is indignant why everything is fine with Doggy and Hanzai laughs and says that apparently her theoretical knowledge is at odds with practice. The guys still decide to continue the tests because the shadows of monsters are seen in the darkness there are even more of them inside the supermarket plus they are all low level. Zhu Wei says so what are they waiting for? It is time for them to earn points the trio enters the battle and definitely deal with the monsters. Zhu says he's already exhausted and they don't have enough glasses like a cat students of the combat faculty receive many times more for killing one animal than logisticians. Hanzai opens the system data where it is written that there is still 50% left before the next level. Increase of the heaven eater after which the contactor will be able to upgrade the sword technique. Hanzai asked his comrades to summon their contract beasts then they can try to attack a high level mutant. Teacher Wing watches from a high rise how the test is going. He sees a picture that he did not expect to see the area for the test, which had been cleared in advance was filled with large animals that simply could not be there. These animals attack students, which is why they tried to leave the area in fear and screaming beginners are in mortal danger, which is extremely dangerous and unexpected. Van pulls out a flare gun and pulls the trigger giving a sign for help. The teacher summons his contract beast the griffin he climbs on his back to help those who are in the very center of danger. Van gives a sign and shouts to the students not to be afraid of animals. All novices participating in the test should take shelter inside the buildings as soon as possible. Running Zhu Wei asks his comrades where such an invasion of animals could have come from. The guys run up to the supermarket and Hanzai offers to hide there. They go inside, but they don't even have time to catch their breath as a huge leopard bursts into their peculiar shelter which flies straight at the guys. Hanzai covers the guys with himself and calls Doggy who pounces on a huge leopard biting his paw. Han takes the sword and cuts the beast in half. Thanks to Doggy's support, Zhu Wyan and Zhu are very shocked when they see this and the young man tells Hanzai that he is very cool. The guy smiles and calmly asks his teammates to keep it a secret. Someone outside is calling for help and Hanzai decides to go help. He tells the girl and the guy to stay in the supermarket. But Inzu says that helping fellow faculty members is the responsibility of each of the students. Still the three of them leave the supermarket, but on the condition that they stay behind Hanzai and Doggy will show them the way. Zhu Wai and Zhu and Hanzai advance and pass into another testing sector where the danger of the mist reaches level 2 in the place where they got to not only the monsters of the mist, but also other students of different faculties are lying dead. A C2 guys from the faculty of logistics and the combat faculty who begin to rejoice that help has arrived. But but their joy did not last long, because a student from the faculty of logistics is grabbed by Erman Gant, who drags her into the darkness while she screams for help. In the darkness the shadow of some person is seen who says that it is extremely crowded their hands eye, feels the aura of a stranger in the darkness and understands that it will not be easy to cope with this person, and he could not use his full strength because there are a lot of people next to him and if he reveals himself to them, then there will be a lot of questions and subsequent problems arising from them. Hanzai is also attacked by Ermin Gant, but the young man repels his attack with a sword but Ermin again turns out to be very strong. The beast grabs Hanzai across the waist and wraps around him from which the guy freezes in horror. Berman Gans who squeezed Hanzai injured him and the blood flowed directly onto the hands of the guy in the black raincoats. He tastes the young man's blood and says that there is nothing special about him. Arm again throws the young man out of his embrace and he flies a few meters. Hanzai gets up and says that everything is fine, because only a couple of ribs are broken. And this is not critical for him. The young man in a black raincoat and white hair is surprised that the guy is still alive after his pet's attack. He intended to continue attacking Hanzai but he is interrupted by Teacher Wang appearing in the sky on a griffin. Teacher Wang lands right on the guy in the raincoat, but he dodges. Han seeing a stranger in a raincoat tells him that he was wondering who was disrupting the test for them. And this someone turns out to be one of the last unfinished elements of the sector of the collapse of the world. And Zhu and Zhu Wai run up to Hanzai and lift him to his feet then a number of other students are glad to see Teacher Wang. Because a security officer has arrived and they are now not alone and are definitely saved. The sect of the collapse of the world is a religious cult that is built around the concept of natural selection. According to the members of the sect, there should be no support cities nor ordinary people who are not able to survive independently in the darkness outside the support cities. For most people of the World Wrecking sect this is an absolute evil. A member of the World Wreck SEC tells everyone to shut up and loses his temper he and his ermine again begin to behave aggressively. His power lifts everyone around him and lets lightning. Teacher Wing tries to repel the attack of the white-haired one. But he does not really succeed because scratches appear on his body and face lightning bolts form around the sectarian and the snake and an aura of black and red color envelopes their bodies giving them a force that is destructive. Buildings around them fall and the ground breaks forming slabs that float in the air. Teacher Wan looks at this with horror and understands that he will either die here because he will be crushed or he will die in battle from loss of blood because his opponent is unusually strong. 
Even though he is young, a white-haired young man grins and begins to sneer saying that Van is good for nothing. The teacher asks the guys to run away while he detains the enemy, but Wang's confidence is erased the second when he sees three lions have crystal eaters of the second level in front of him. Hanzai doesn't quite understand who the second level devourers are, so he asks and Zhu the girl says that this is the scariest type of second level miss beasts so they urgently need to run and inform the rest of the teachers about what is happening, because a little more and they will all stay here as food for them and other animals that have flooded the test area. Teacher Wang looks carefully at the fleeing students because he has to give the newcomers time to retreat. Teacher Wing's griffin forms a sphere and hits the white-haired guy's snake with it but arm again repels his attack and the two beasts converge in battle using their tail and paws. The students stop to observe but they are immediately hurried. One of the lions jumps out in front of the guys but Hanzai kicks him and tells the students to run and he will detain the lion. The students stand rooted to the spot which is why Hanzai starts shouting at them to run faster. The young man asks Su Wai for a sword and also asks all the other guys not to worry about him because everything will be fine with him. The lion forms a blue spherical projectile and lets it out of his mouth aiming directly at Hanzai. But the young man dodges repelling the attack. The guy runs up close to the lion and attacks him inflicting dozens of blows from which the lion falls dead. And Doggy immediately begins to eat him because by eating the defeated animals and crystals that fall from them, he pumps a little in strength. Hanzai notices that the wounds on his body have healed and stopped hurting so he opens the information system to find out. He receives a notification that the level of the devourer of heaven has been successfully upgraded and a new skill has been obtained. True appearance. True appearance is a skill that can be obtained by the heaven eaters in the nursery. This skill allows you to take the form of an adult heaven eater for a short time, with a corresponding increase in strength. However, after using the skill, the beast's strength will be depleted. That is when the puppy's level increases, Hanzai's health will be restored, and Zhu who found the crystal of the defeated lion gives it to Hanzai the girl and a young man are going to go for help, but a white-haired guy is blocking their way who is holding teacher weighing by the head with one hand, an airman is squeezing a griffin, Hanzai shouts to his comrades to run for help, or Magand attacks Hanzai in nearby buildings, he smashes everything to splinters, but the young man successfully dodges his attacks, during the escape, the guy thinks about the fact that after a short term use of the true appearance exhaustion will occur, this skill can only be used when it is 100% ready to inflict irreparable damage to the enemy, otherwise it will be at a dead end. Two lions are rapidly flying at Hanzai but the guy uses Doggy's power to attack them and realizes that after raising the level, killing animals has become much easier. The young man flies and a member of the sect who pulls out a dagger to attack Hanzai and they engage in hand-to-hand -hand combat. Teacher Wan who has regained consciousness looks unfocused at the fight of young people. Weying notices that Yurman Gon is going to attack Hanzai from behind, so he shouts warning the guy the cultist came close to Hanzai intending to stab him with a dagger in the neck area, Elian, which is his contract beast clamp doggy and a vice preventing him from escaping. Snakes are already close and ready to attack. He is towering Hanzai but the guy realizes that he cannot dodge the attack so he looks into the eyes of his death. The snake repels Teacher Wine's wounded griffin preventing it from attacking the student. The sectarian is not happy with this arrangement. So he clicks. The griffin after attacking the snake runs the van with all his legs and the teacher in turn joyfully calls him a lion cub. The white-haired man distracts Hanzai and goes to the teacher with a dagger pressing his or on the second and says that people are extremely funny. And the teacher is especially funny, because for the sake of his students for the sake of his support city and other ridiculous reasons he is ready to sacrifice his life to fulfill such a small goal. The cultist says that Van is pathetic and throws a dagger at him. But the lion cub closes his master and the dagger hits him in the wing. Teacher Wang starts laughing and says that the sectarian does not understand anything in real life where people are willing to do a lot for each other because they believe in a bright future and that soon everything will normalize and they will live in harmony, peace and tranquility without mutants and such cretins as sectarians. The sectarian grins and says that Huang's perseverance can be envied, but it's a pity that his life will end there. Hanzai demands that the white-haired sectarian stop who upon hearing this says with displeasure that the worthless and useless little man is making noise again. The sectarian turns around and a not entirely pleasant picture opens up to his eyes because another of his lions is defeated by this student. The sectarian goes into an unprecedented rage and shouts at what Hanzai is counting on with such a puppy like him. He gives the sea serpent in order to attack the guy, but this time Hanzai effortlessly stops the tail of the snake with which he wanted to attack him. Hanzai uses the newly acquired skill for the devourer of heaven. Doggy takes his true for becoming a statuesque black dog, who has a fawing on his ear as an earring, and his height reaches an example of 3 minutes 4 meters in height. The dog no longer looks like a cute and harmless puppy. His aura radiates strength and danger. The sectarian thinks that he needs to escape because otherwise he will die. He doesn't understand why he can't move as he curbed by fear. Hanzai says that it seems he is not ready to sacrifice his life for the sake of a moronic cult of the collapse of the world. 
The white-haired man shouts and tells the guy to shut up. He says that he only had orders to check on Hanzai, but since he is so persistently asking for death, then the sectarian is ready to fulfill his wish. The cultist picks up a dagger and makes an incision in his palm to offer his blood as a sacrifice to the snake spirit. The urban gun grows larger in size. Its teeth become sharper and spikes appear on its tail and head. The sectarian stands on the head of Yurman again, which has become so huge that the occupation is like a whole district. Doggy and Snake are looking at each other ready to kill each other because now is not a university test but a real life and death battle. Worm again lets out a roar and attacks Hans die with more than just a tail. He swings his tail at the young man but razor-sharp crystals fly out of his tail. Hanzai barely dodges them jumping on the slab which was formed due to the destruction inflicted by the snake. Hanzai jumps away and Ermin Gun's muzzle is right next to him, but Doggy jumps up and hits the snake on the muzzle saving his master from imminent death. Ermin again even on his last breath remains faithful to his master who pursues not the best goals. So even without orders from a sectarian he attacks his enemies. Hanzai gets on top of Doggy running away from the scene and the cultist shouts to his beast to follow them and devour Doggy and Hanzai. The snake follows them on their heels and Doggy jumps on the slabs of the destroyed area. When they go out to a larger part of the area it becomes easier for the puppy to run. Because there is a whole asphalt. Hanzai turns around and realizes that the lights will not last long because the snake is strong and fast. Hanzai strokes Doggy between the ears and asks him if he can stop him again Doggy growls and makes it clear that he is ready to help his contactor. The puppy abruptly turns around that already sparks from his claws are formed on the asphalt. Hanzai jumps off the doggy and the puppy attacks the snake biting it in the neck area. The sectarian does not understand what is happening because he almost falls off his beast. Hanzai appraises Doggy and while the dog is attacking the snake, the young man jumps on the snake's tail and jumps to get to the cultist who is on the snake's head. The sectarian does not see Hanzai who is behind him and is looking for a young man somewhere below, next to Doggy but not finding him there. He asks where the bastard has gone. Hanzai comes close to the cultist grabs him by the head and throws him off the snake so hard that he breaks the ground. He pushes the cultist even harder into the ground and says that he got caught. Doggy defeated the snake and Hanzai lifts the cultist off the ground, holding him by the neck. The white-haired man begs Han not to kill him. Hanzai smiles and says that he is not such a good-natured person and after hearing this, the sectarian starts shouting at him and says that if the guy kills him, he will not get away with anything and the snake is on its last legs. Opening its mouth is going to eat Hanzai. The guy throws the cultist away from him raises his fist and hits him in the jaw from which the snake falls dead. Hanzai turns around and approaches approaches the sectarian begging for mercy, who has lost his former order and attitude of which he boasted at the very beginning of their meeting, which became faithful for him because he failed the task with a bang and could not defeat an ordinary student with a shepherd dog. Initially heading for this task, the white-haired man was full of strength and energy. He was sure that he would be 100% successful in completing this task and nothing would stop him. And now he is lying on the ground crawling away from an ordinary student from the faculty of logistics, who killed not only his lions, but also the main beast and the person of vermin gained. The sectarian desperately begs Hanzai to take pity on him, but his boyfriend does not seem to hear his pleas ignoring them and confirming the words he said earlier that he is not the kind man he looks like. The young man swings claws like an adult dog he's still flaunt on his nails and the guy runs them along the white-haired man's neck, making a neat like a surgical incision which is lethal for a sectarian in the last thing he sees before his eyes a second and before the sweep becomes Hanzai's smile. Killing that, Hanzai exhales with relief and Doggy begins to eat him again and the actions of the true appearance ended. Returning the puppy to its original form, Hanzai and the puppy approach teacher Wang and sit down next to him. Wang wakes up looks around and sees next to him a lion cub Hanzai who is sitting in the lotus position in Doggy. And the young man asks how the teacher is feeling if he is badly injured and if he can move. The teacher arches an eyebrow and sarcastically says that he feels great because he was not nearly killed by us. Victorian and his monster a few minutes ago can to be seen by him Hanzai tells him to take it easy and calm down because the teacher is bleeding from the mouth. Wong asks Han if he killed that snake and the person controlling it, but the guy gets to his feet and says that first the teacher needs to be taken to a safer place, and on the way he will tell him everything about what happened. Hanzai throws teacher weighing on his back and jumps around buildings with him, from which the teacher asks him to move more carefully, because his wounds are making themselves felt. The young man apologizes for his careless movements. The guy asks teacher Wang to tell him more about the sect and the teacher says that the main idea of the sect is that human life is insignificant. Sectarians do not value the lives of ordinary people who do not have powers and beasts. In their opinion, an ordinary person is garbage that litters the earth. A man in a black raincoat arrives at the scene who looks at the disappearing corpse of the snake and its owner saying that Hanzai is a very interesting young man. The guys who left the portal gathered near the building of their initial gathering where the test began. 
The students looked tired and rumbled. Someone has already managed to provide medical assistance by making bandages and putting a cast on, and someone still comes in a state of shock sitting on the ground and trying to recover dense haze interferes with electromagnetic waves. So the question of maintaining communication during tests within the haze was quite acute at first. As a result of testing various communication methods flares began to be used in such sectors. It is recommended to launch flares from the maximum available high points so as not to fall into higher building. Therefore, everyone did not immediately find out about the attack on the students and now everyone is waiting for those who still remain on the other side, unable to contact them, and Zhu and Zhu Wai are standing in suspense. They are worried that Hanza has not yet come out of the portal. Zhu looks out for her new friend but sees nothing but fought. Here a figure can be seen to the two men. And then the man himself who comes out of it coming out of the fog turns out to be Hanzai and Doggy walking merrily next to him. Hanzai smiles and tells his comrades if they were looking for him. And they happily brighten up and run up to him. Zhu Wai comes close and starts hugging Hanzai telling him that he has finally returned because Zhu Wai would have died from such a long experience remembering what happened on the other side. And Zhu first looks at Hanzai and notices that his wounds have already healed although they were quite serious. She picks up the puppy and examines it noting that the dog is also in perfect order. There is not a single scratch on it. And besides, it looks as if it has been corrected in such a short time. Did Doggy have a level increase? Zhu Wai approaches the girl and the puppy from which the second begins to bark furiously because he still does not recognize Zhu Wai as his new friend. And Zhu turns to Hanza and asks him about what happened after they ran away and what happened to the man who was wearing a black cloak. Hanzai's expression changes and he says that the Cretan is dead. Hearing this Zhi Wai approaches Hanzai and enthusiastically says how cool he is what the young man asks his friend to be quiet so that no one hears their conversation and finds out about Hanzai's little secret. He hugs his friends and asks them not to spread about what happened. And he also asks them not to talk about the fact that Doggy's level has increased. Zhi Wai says that they will keep their mouths shut they will be dumb as fish so Hanzai can be calm because his secret will remain only with them. At this time, the rector of the university is extremely angry. He is sitting at a round table with other co-workers of the educational institution and says that what happened does not fit into any gates. The damn sectarians have lost their minds in the edge. Since they allow themselves to interrupt the test and attack student, teacher Wang tells the rector that it is worth paying attention to the fact that the place of the test was kept in the strictest secrecy, and no outsider could find out about it. So there is a version that there is someone in the academy or the combat brigade belonging to the sector and spying on its interest. The rector after listening to Van's version asks about what ideas the security service puts forward. In this case, he is told that it is necessary to conduct an investigation at least to interview all the new students who were attacked what they saw. Plus, the interrogation should be conducted among the commanders of the detachments. An incredible number of people gathered near the academy who heard about what happened at the test. A bunch of reporters are waiting for students to show up to interview them. The first one they catch turns out to be Hanzai the red-haired reporter. Girl tell him that they are here to ask a few questions about their first test. The girl turns out to be a member of the student union, which acts on the instructions of the rector who authorized her to interview students who were at the very epicenter and were attacked. He asks Hanzai and the comrades who came up to him to follow her. They enter the auditorium where some of the students are already sitting who seeing Hanzai began to whisper because they heard a rumor that during the test the young man stood out for his decent behavior. They begin to share information about Hanzai with each other. Someone remembers that when he was rescuing students, he defeated a second-level crystal eater with his own hand. Some hearing this were imbued with respect for the young man, while others considered it nonsense because Hanza is an ordinary nerd who got a tiny shepherd dog from which there is no benefit. Some students from the combat faculty laugh at the fact that someone believes in the words about the feet of Hanza they say that if this were true, then he would have been able to put the behemoth Wang Chi in a sea condu. These words are answered by another young man who says that if it weren't for Hanzai, they wouldn't be here and personally save more than 20 people including this young man. The guy says that if someone else says at least one cricket word to Hanzai, he will personally work for the one who speaks so frivolously and disrespectfully about the person who sacrificed himself to save students. Zhu Yi looks at the person who spoke badly about Hanzai preparing to also get into a conversation. But Hanzai puts his arm around his shoulder and says that everything is fine and it's not worth paying attention to such narrow-minded people. The trio approaches the last desk and decides to sit down at it. A red-haired girl from the council approaches Hanzai sitting at his desk, winks at him and bends down opening her eyes to her bust. She smiles flirtatiously and asks the guy if he can help them with the investigation. Embarrassed Hanzai blushes and says that he will try to be as helpful as possible. The girl leaning on the desk starts asking him she says that their three-man squad detained a man in a black cloak and his snake, which allowed two dozen people to escape. Hanzai scratches the back of his head and says that they just heard calls for help and came to help. 
they themselves were lucky that they managed to escape from the threat and escape. The girl bends even closer to the guy and asks him about how he was able to fight back against the second level crystal eaters. And Hanzai answers her saying that even though they look big and dangerous, but in fact they are weak and cowardly. So he just gave them a couple of times in the muzzles and they immediately broke up huddled. He didn't do anything impossible. The redhead straightens up and folds her arms on her chest, looking at Hanzai in such a way that he would understand that she does not believe his words because they look like nonsense, then kind of peers in the audience accompanied by his henchmen. He looks heartily have the students and says that he heard how the students of the logistics faculty were severely beat. He did not think that so many of these weaklings survived. He says they are such weaklings that they were looked after by security officers, and then they even intervene in the trial to help them their ordeal was like an amusement park not something complicated, when kind of approaches Hanzai and tells him that he is worthless as a fleet, but as luck can be envy, Hanzai listens to him in silence without showing any interest in Wang's words, Ban says that he is just a pathetic nerd, but his tirade of humiliations is stomped by a red-haired girl throwing a chair at him from which she turns away, she tells him that if he was assigned to the combat faculty, this does not mean that he has the right to do what he wants and say, so far, Venko Meissen is nothing so let him keep quiet and Eric, Ban frightened of the girl awkwardly scratches his cheek and tells her not to boil so much, but she does not listen to him and tells them to leave the audience, Van Kine is unhappy with this but he really leaves the audience, in the corridor his friends ask if he is ready to leave everything like this, but Van Kine stops and hits the wall leaving a crack, and he turns to his henchmen and tells them not to tell anyone about what happened in the audience. Zhyy tells Insu that a red-haired girl is sexier in anger than when she is calm. She approaches Hanzai and asks him to continue the conversation. The young man smiles and says that he has already told everything he knew, so he does not think that he can help with anything else. The girl goes behind him, puts her Hanzai's shoulders and bends down. She tells him in his ear that he has nothing to be afraid of because she does not bite and only wants to help. She tells Hanzai that he performed well on the test in connection with which she consulted with some members of the student union and she wants to recommend Hanzai to join them. Hearing this the young man was surprised because joining the student union has its advantages opens access to additional training resources, there is an opportunity to receive rewards, and most importantly, it is an additional fee for Doggy. Hanzai tells the girl that he needs to think a little and she says with a smile that she will wait for his answer but it's not worth delaying the decision because not everyone receives such an offer. She says goodbye to Hanzai and tells him to go to rest. The test results will be published tomorrow. So today you can relax. The next morning students find a table with test results next to it. They crowd around her to find their name and find out the place they have taken. Hanzai and Inzu are sitting on a bench and waiting for Zhiyuai to come who went to see their results. The guy is standing near the board and looking for his friends he finds Inzu who took 5th place and scored 430 points. Those standing in the crowd were very surprised because someone from the faculty of logics turned out to be in the top five from which the guys from this faculty sincerely begin to rejoice. Mankind appears behind them who says that the fifth place is their ceiling and if they are happy about it, then they are weaklings and scum. In fourth place is Su Wai who scored 460 points. Wang Kai in hearing the starts to get angry and pushing the crowd climbs forward to find out who is in three places. He is in third place having scored 567 points. Wang Kai is extremely dissatisfied with this result. In second place, is Zhang Zion and the girl with the flower who scored 593 points. Everyone held their breath because everyone wants to find out who was the first in the first place is Hanzai who scored 2,100 points. The fact that Hanzai took the first place caused a shock to absolutely all students. Because he scored the most points people begin to discuss this information violently. Because such information has become extremely unexpected for everyone. Someone says that this is incredible because the students from the logistics faculty beat the students of the combat faculty and even took three places in the top five. Maybe Hanzai somehow skillfully chose weak mutants of the second and third level and that's why he scored so many points. But this version is dismissed because there are no weak mutants of the second and third level. Only the people have the Mr. Weaker than them but they are given only one point. For each Hanzai couldn't have killed more than 2,000 people of the mist in a few hours. Wayne Kine is furious because why on earth is Hanzai a weak nerd in the first place? How could he get around it really thanks to his useless puppy Wang believes that Hanzai Kai Terrell so he was able to bypass him. Zhyy says their Hanzai scored 4 times more points than Wang Qi. It turns out that if Hanzai according to Wang Qi is garbage it means that he is 4 times worse than this garbage. Zhyy's words infuriate Wang Qi and even more so he grabs his breasts and furiously asks how he dared to say such a thing about him. Everyone in the faculty room is also in shock. Lee Jane who the dean of the combat faculty cannot believe that the first place was taken by someone from the logistics faculty. Fine thank you. The supervisor of the faculty of logistics says that she was also very surprised. Apparently, she was lucky with the students this year. 
The curators discussed this situation asking whether the security service has confirmed the test results. Y says that all the results have been confirmed and even the rector was worried about this news. At the academy the curators of the groups are most engaged in students due to the lack of human resources. Most of the teaching staff joined the auxiliary detachments of combat brigades and the responsibility for nurturing new generations of contactors fell on the shoulders of a few teachers. Most of the subjects are taught by group curators above the curators or the deans who are in charge of the faculty. They are engaged in the development of teaching methods and personal supervision of those students who are considered the most gifted. Then a student from a logistics faculty flies into the office, who quickly tells the curator by their hands eye from their group is going to fight with a student from the combat faculty in the courtyard. So he ran to them to help stop the brewing fight. Hearing this, the curators rise up and Lu Jane who thinks that the guy has serious inclinations, so he should also look at him. Lan Sung holds Zhu Wai with his fist raised to strike. Wang Qian's fist stops hands eye a few centimeters away from his friend and tells Wang to get behind. Wang Catching says that he is lagging behind Zhou Wai but only in order to teach Hanzai have good lesson Wang swings and runs at Hanzai, who dodges and hits him on the solar plexus with his knee. Wang Kai and moves away from Hans on and furiously shouts to him that the rocking chair will not save him and calls for a runner ordering him to grab Hanzai, and Zhu watches this skirmish with horror in his eyes. Realizing that Wang Kai wants to kill Hanzai, Hanzai looks at Wang Kai and tells Tom that since he decided to use his beast in their fight, he will end up without the author of Doggy Envelopes Hanzai who is preparing to strike at the behemoth, but he is stopped by the curators who came running to separate them. Curator Bai says that dueling is prohibited on the territory of the academy. Zhu Yi tells the curator that Wang Kajing started the skirmish if not for his short temper this would not have happened. Another pre-feeder asks Mankind what happened. Wayne Kine says that he demands a public explanation of the test results, because Hanzai clearly cheated and violated the rules. His contract beast is a useless little shepherd dog. How could he score 21 points? His puppy is a worthless combat assistant. It is surprising that this puppy survived at all. He believes that he was helped by the staff of the No Danger Service and everything was arranged so that Hanzai took the first place. Zhu Wai loses his temper and comes close to Wang Kian's friend saying that he does not even know what the students have passed on the other side, because they have no idea what an invasion of animals is. Curator Bai says to calm everyone down she will be happy to share with you the details of the results. He says that as many of the students present know that students from the faculty of logistics and some others were attacked by animals as a result of the invasion. Out of eight security service employees. One is now in critical condition, three are in serious condition due to injuries, and Hanzai himself killed several 100 mutants save more than 20 students repelled the attack of three second-level crystal eaters, and he also helped a security officer defeat the instigator of this invasion. This information was confirmed by both the security service and the curators from the academy. The test results are fair. There are no handouts. The students after listening to all this exhale in amazement someone in the crowd shouts that Hanzai is the best, that from now on he will be an idol. One of the students also says that he heard about a dozen students of the combat faculty lost a fight to a second-level mutant and ran away. But Hanzai drove three of them alone. Van Kine does not believe in this believing that everything said is nonsense and nonsense. Curator Bai turns to Hanzai smiles at him and congratulate him on his well-deserved first place because he did a good job. But she also asks him not to violate the rules of staying in the academy in the future. The young man smiles at her and says that he will try to be a diligent student by says that she will now go to the dean of the faculty of logistics to clarify about the award that Hanzai should leave Jane who approaches them who decided to get acquainted with Hanzai he says that he will not beat around the bush. So immediately without unnecessary preludes offers him to transfer to the combat faculty. He says that if the guy agrees he will personally mentor him and share with him the secrets of the development of both the guy and Doc and he will also teach a complex of combat techniques that he developed himself. Here another old man appears on the field who says that you should not ruin Hanzai's talent because he deserves better. This old man turned out to be Zhang Ji, the dean of the research faculty. He says the Hanzai's former teacher approached him with a request to enroll the pair in the research faculty so leaves should stand in the horses of the queue. Jiang Zhi approaches Hanzai and says that if he transfers to his faculty, he will be able to get the most effective drugs in any quantity. This will open an unprecedented window of opportunity for him. The old men begin to almost fight against the young man but then the curator by appears, who furiously says that both old men are to impugn it because right in front of her eyes, they are trying to take her student away. She hugs Hanzai and says that the logistics department has outstanding students, which is a rarity, so she won't give Hanzai up without a fight. She tells the guy that if he really wants to transfer to another faculty, she will understand him and will respect his choice. Hanzai says that he has thought everything over and likes the logistics department. He does not want to be transferred anywhere. The guy says that he is very grateful for the suggestions, but he is satisfied with the faculty of logistics. In the end, no matter where he studies he will try to be useful for the supporting city anyway. 
and this is much more important than the struggle for faculties. The old people smile and say that he is an extremely curious guy. Ben Carson is not happy with such increased attention towards his main Tibetan enemy, but his supervisor asks him to calm down and not be discouraged. He says that mankind has an A-rank magical beasts that can be upgraded to SS rank. Right now Hanzai is riding out at the expense of physical skills, but after a while it won't matter so much at a higher level. Hanza has no chance to forgive Wang Kai. Wang Kai says that Hanza has made a mockery of their faculty to which the curator tells him that this is why Wang should train hard elimination competitions will be held very soon. If during these competitions, Wang Kai wins over Hanzai, then the shame of the cult will be washed away. Curator Bai and the deans enter the office located within the walls of the university Leo. Giant who tells the woman that their faculty was lucky and they got a very gifted student. The dean of the military faculty asks her how they could get such a student as Hanzai and she replies that it's luck and that's all. They follow the office and stumble upon the rector, who is in an extremely dissatisfied state. Lu asks what the rector forgot in the office, and he replies that in his report Chen Lai mentioned one amazing newcomer so the rector, driving past the university decided to look and to see the student who delighted so many people. He looks at Dean Lu Jane Wuhan Chang Si and says that he has heard rumors that they almost fought over the student in the courtyard of the academy that doesn't fit in any gate. The rector begins to tell them that how could they allow that one of the best students was assigned to the faculty of logistics. Since this has happened, then they could not disgrace themselves as students by behaving so infantile, because they are no longer children. The rector notes that this year there are so many talents at the Faculty of Logistics, who took places in the top five, which is very surprising, or the whole point is that the combat faculty is no good now. Lu Jane Will, having heard the rector's words about his faculty says that he will definitely take into account all the rector's remarks in working with students. But first, he asks to transfer Hanzai to the combat faculty. He promises that he will personally train him and monitor his development from day to day Jiang Si hearing. This also turns to the rector with a similar request. The rector says that time has passed and there is nothing to make such efforts to translate Hanzai while in this case. He will look into the eyes of curator Bai. After hearing these words Bai asked for help, the rector approaches her and asks her where Hanzai's now. After all, he not only performed well at the test, but also helped more than two dozen students as well as members of the security service to escape. The rector wants to express his personal gratitude to him. Curator Bai after listening to the rector says that Hanzai should be in the training hall now. So the rector needs to wait a little while until the curator brings the student. The people working in the office hearing that the rector wanted to express gratitude to Hanzai personally pricked up their ears. Because did the rector really appreciate Hanzai's contribution so highly? Lu Jane will ask the rector why he is so interested in Hanzai is it really because by chance he was able to defeat a second level crystal eater. One of the employees gets up and says that these are just rumors and nothing more. The contract beast of this guy is a simple passed off. So don't overestimate the students so much. And besides, according to other rumors, security officers helped him because otherwise he would not have returned from there. After listening to all these versions, the rector thought that initially, he also did not believe what was being said about Hanzai. But in his report, Chen Lai assured that Hanzi not only killed the second level crystal eater, but also made a significant contribution to the murder of the sectarian and his snake. The rector asks the dean if it is true that the contract animal is a small puppy. Lulu says that this is indeed the case, so it is unlikely that Hanzi had at least a chance against a second level mutants. Even students with magical beasts of rancor scattered at the appearance of the crystal eaters, who in their right mind would believe that a logistic student with an F rank puppy is capable of such a thing. The rector after listening to all got angry and menacingly asked where so many clever people came from in the office. Apart from discussing gossip and collecting rumors, they apparently do not do anything who will work for them. He says he has heard enough and asks curator Bai to take him to Hanzai. In the gym Hanzai feeds Doggy and notices that after increasing the level the dog's appetite has only increased so there is almost no food left in the system for him. Hanzai strokes the puppy and says that so far he is broke but when he has given a reward the first thing Han will do is bind Doggy something delicious. There is a knock on the door of the gym and Hanzai asks to wait for those who are on the other side. He opens the door and the curator by and the rector of the academy Mr. Song appear behind. She represents them to each other and Hanzai thinks about what the rector might need from him. The young man bows to the rector in greeting. Song says that he is very surprised that after taking the first place the first thing Hanzai did was not to celebrate the victory but to train. Now it is clear what is the secret of Hanzai's success. Doggy barks in greeting. The rector pays attention to the cute puppy and thinks it's amazing how Hanzai became the best with such a weak animal like this puppy. The rector says that the young man showed himself well on the test. So on behalf of the academy son writes him an award hearing this Hanzai asked because the rector gives him a check for a million. You can exchange this check at any branch of the bank union. The guy says that the amount is so huge that it's already embarrassing to accept it. He takes the check, but the rector does not let him go. 
who thinks that the guy has a strong grip, but there is hardly a million on the account of the academy, so cashing the check will be problematic for Hanzai. The rector clears his throat and says that if it is not possible to cash the check when entering the bank, then this is due to problems on the part of the bank. They have a system that has been messing up a lot lately. So if anything the guy should try again. Hanzai understands that the rector is greedy because he gave him a check that cannot be cashed. That's the whole reward of the young man. Sun also says that from now on when using any paid infrastructure of the academy, the guy will have a 50% discount. Hanzai asked the rector if this is really all the reward that is due to him. Sun says that this was just an introductory test and he will have other opportunities in the future. If Hanzai can score 10,000 points in the next test, then not only will he be rewarded more generously, but he will also be allowed to move his family members to live in the center. When he heard that he would be allowed to move his family, the guy caught fire and said that he would try his best for this. Sun says that perhaps they will be able to replace Donkey with a more decent animal. This will also be a serious leap in development. Doggy is extremely unhappy with Sun's words. So he started barking furiously. Hanzai picks up Doggy and asks him not to swear. As he is about to leave Rector Sun says that Hanzai needs to have a good rest today because tomorrow there will be a test to determine the level. After the guests leave so to speak Hanzai returns to the room which decides to check if there are any other ways to accelerate the growth of the pestle. He decides to also use the puppy care instructions. Doggy barks demanding the Hanzai give him food first and then stare at his book and generally try to cash his check. Hanzai puts on an Olympic jacket and tells Doggy that it's time to try out the gravity room. There are three types of training infrastructure available to students on the territory of the academy-based training halls, gravity halls and combat halls. The basis is the basic halls which are designed to develop the physical characteristics of students and their contract animals. By and large, it almost does not differ from the usual training centers. The next is the gravity hall where you can adjust the force of gravity within the hall which allows you to better develop strength and speed visiting such a hall is paid you can only pay with glasses, but the glasses themselves are bought for money. And finally, the battle halls. Halls of this type are most often visited by teachers and the strongest students in. Such halls you can train at a higher level and hone special specific necessary skills. Hanzai walks down the street heading towards the gravity hall and thinks that to use this hall you need to spend either points or money. He decides that he will not spend the money yet if he manages to cash the check that rector. Son gave him then he will buy food for doggy with that money and send the rest home to his family. There. My sister needs money for her studies and for household expenses. That is for the elementary purchase of food and everything like that. But the guy decides to sort out all the money issues tomorrow. After he passes the level determination test, the young man approaches the hall where the rules for using the gravity hall or wait at the entrance. He stops and starts studying the brochure. It says that students are allowed in this hall after confirming their identity an hour of using the hall costs about 10 points, but you can also purchase points with cash by contacting the hall administrator. After reading this Hanzai remembered that he had a 50% discount on attendance and plus a lot of points so he can take his time and enjoy the workout to his heart's content. Entering the gym Hanzai immediately drew attention to the exercise machines which are unremarkable and look like an irregular gym. He goes to the wall where there is a button to increase gravity and tells Donkey that he will double gravity to begin with. Will increase gravity Doggy and Hanzai can barely stand on their feet. At this time, in the student union. Tankiness a young man with scars on the right side of his body and face, who is also a member of the student union is discussing with Leon Jaya, a red-haired girl that it is better to give Wang Kai in a place in the student union. Tan says that why spend a quote on a recommendation for a beginner who has a useless shepherd dog. Bly Jaya complain is that what does Tang kind of care about who she recommends? Does he really want to show in this way that he understands people better than she does? Or does he think that a newcomer from the faculty of logistics cannot be worthy of becoming a member of the student union? Saying Kani says that he really thinks that Hanza is unworthy of this place due to the fact that he is from the logistics faculty. Lai says the Hans high score 2,100 points during the entrance test. And at the same time, the idiot Tang can considers him unworthy. At the same time Van Kian with a disgusting character who is not able to admit his wrongness is worth. Tang Chi and he says that Hanzai just turned on his wits found an easy way to get points quickly, and this is not surprising. If Tan had been in his place, he would have scored no less points. Yin Gong a red-haired young man who is also a member of the student union intervenes in their dialogue. The Yen Gong asks why Tang Chi and he decided that Hanzai cheated. He says that Hanzai has shown exceptional results for a beginner. So it's silly to deny that the question of Hanzai joining the student union will be decided after the test. The next day students gather at the academy to take the test. The students are not very happy with this fact. Because just a few days ago, they returned from a trial in the dark. The guys complain to each other that some parts of the body still hurt. So they sincerely hope that they will not be given another check again. Namely a level check test. One guy asks the other what exactly will be tested on this test. He is told that the level determination test is a standard practice for beginners. 
if you pass this test, well, then there is a chance to get into the student union. They begin to wonder who can get into the student union and Han's eye appears in front of them from which they fall silent. After Han has passed by them, they continue their conversation. They say that of the newcomers the strongest is most likely Hanzai as. They heard the guy has already received an invitation to join the student union, but his beast does not inspire fear at all. Maybe he plans to compensate for this with physical development like that. Legendary sophomore Hong Yuan who does not come out of the rocking chair at all. As if he lives in it. Doggy hearing their conversation barks but since Hanzai understands him, he understands about why he is barking. The puppy asks if Hanzai has heard that those guys behind them think that Hunt Sai is just a joke and he has nothing but muscle. Here a bus pulls up on the roof of which is a huge whiteboard. The people who got off the bus are extremely dissatisfied with the fact that because of the usual testing of newcomers, they had to be taken away from their affairs and brought to the academy. Again, the director is delusional. The boar on the roof of the bus is trying to escape but the guys who got off the bus, without thinking for a second attack this war but they do not restrain their forces at all so the bus and the buildings located near it can be damaged. And Zuna a white-haired girl whose contract beast is a nine-tailed fox tells the guy who attacked the board to control his powers because they are still in the academy. Paul Newman, who is attacking a boar awkwardly scratches his cheek and asks for ancestors forgiveness and promises to be more careful. Newcomer students watching on this understand that this is the same Hong Yuan adjunct from the second year. They look different not quite the way they imagined it. And in the beast on the roof, they recognize the azure boar of the third level. Seeing this bored doggy beam for this board looks like the most delicious lunch for him, so he wants to run away. Hanzai catches him and holds him telling him to be quiet and not run away. The door of the reckless hall falls because it's like there was an explosion, and Hanzai says that it seems that someone came out of the shutter in that direction. Was it really because of ordinary testing that even those who were in seclusion were told to interrupt their solitude? People who have come out of the shutter say that if it wasn't for the test, they could have stayed in seclusion for another six months. The old man who came out of the reckless hall seeing the girls talks about how beautiful and sexy the freshman is now. With the young man who came out with him tells him that these are second and third year students and in general there is no need to be ashamed. He assistant rector says that all students and teachers came to the place on his instruction, including teachers who had gone into lockdown and students who were training outside the academy. The assistant wants to ask the rector why he gathered everyone but the rector interrupts him and does not answer anything. Song recalls that if Chen Lai is right, then the SEC spy is either among these people or Lai Bao is in the ranks of the combat brigade. First you need to make sure the academy is safe and it would take too long to check each one individually. Song decides to check Hanzai first because the testimony of the young man and diverge from Chen Lai's report. And Zhu Zhu Y and Hanzai are standing in front of the building where the testing is supposed to take place. Zhyeyy asks about this building and Zhu tells him not to show 60 that he knows nothing about the academy because the combat faculty will laugh at them again. Hanzai asks the girl if she knows what exactly will be tested. And Zhu says that as they already know the level of the contract beast is determined by innate data and acquired growth in the aggregate. The level determination test is aimed at identifying identifying acquired growth as the level of the contract beast increases it becomes more and more its true appearance. Hanzai draws an analogy and comes to the conclusion that apparently this is the same when Doggy acquired the skill true appearance. He acquired growth is divided into nine steps each three stages correspond to the state edge's birth awakening and duh. The stage of birth is the initial stage at which all animals are located and it is divided into three levels wildness, agility and greatness. Hiranzu notices a guy who intends to steal a doggy because if he passes this test with this dog, he will definitely score many points. The girl says that people like this guy are at best at the initial stage of savitri. Hanzai stops the negligent thief and takes the dog from him. Curator Bai says that testing is starting so all students must go inside the building. When the guys went inside the building, they noticed that the building seemed bigger from the outside. But inside it was small and cramped. Members of the student union watching the new students say that a lot of memories have come flooding back from the time of the savitri stage. Chang Kainai tells Yun Gong that he performed better on such a test. But over time Yun overtook him. Blind Jio says that at that time, their current vice chairman and actually set a new record and in comparison with her there were just non-entities a red-haired girl asks about awareness just the same. Absolutely everyone was called to the same event. Then it appears and asks if she is being discussed. And Sud approaches Leon Jabot and hugs her telling her that she missed her very much because they haven't seen each other for a long time. And asks young girl who is the best this year. The guy replies that one muddy weirdo became the best. Leon Jibot points his finger at Hanzai and says it's a logistics student who scored 2,100 points on the entrance test. She also notes that she recommended him to be accepted into the student union. And Shuame says she has already heard about this guy because her little sister was on the same team with him. The girl asks Young Gang why he called the guy in Money Weirdo and he says that his contract animal is a shepherd dog of rank F which causes disbelief in the eyes of Zoo 9. 
Big O says the director personally went to him to present the award and she starts waving to Hanzai wishing him good luck. Hanzai notices the girl and the people standing next to her making out that it looks like this whole company is members of the student union. He waves a demo and thinks about how long they will stare at him for. Students are announced that testing is starting so everyone needs to get ready. They are told that the test is very simple because they only need to hit the target with all their mind which is right on the stage in front of them. You need to beat using your best attacking technique. The test begins. The guy ends and beats his beast as a brown bear of rank B the initial stage of wildness. The second is Zhang Yan upon frog of rank C the initial stage of wildness. Ma now a fighting rooster of rank C the initial stage of savagery. Observing the students assistant rector Suna says that this year there is a good selection of students because you can work with them. Next to the target comes mankind whose beast is called a behemoth of rank A the middle stage of savagery. His friends bean because everyone saw how the coolest student of the combat faculty can beat. Mankind says that there is no one stronger than his behemoth. Students gather around Van and say that at least something interesting has finally happened. Otherwise, before that everyone is one at the initial stage of wildness. They asked him how it was possible to develop the beast in such a way three days after the conclusion of the contract. Adzuna asks Tankiness if he recommended Wang Kind to join the student union. He says that it is so maybe this guy is not the most talented but at least his beast is not a shepherd dog. And says that Commander Zio also mentioned one girl within a rank plant in Junk Zone and is being called to the target next. Hanzai approaches young Zio and tells her not to worry because she will succeed. She approaches the target and uses her best attacking strike which causes a lot of enthusiastic glances because the plant is of the rank and reaches the peak of wildness. Everyone is very surprised because the girl turned out to be better than Van Chi. Yong Gong says that he will recommend taking chunks out into their student union because the girl is too cool and such a talent should not be missed. But it says that she should have thought earlier because she was already staked out by Commander XYO from the university cell of the combat brigade. Adzuna thinks that a girl with her race is even more talented than she is with her snow fox. Chang Kai and I says that he is ready to bet that no one will surpass this girl today. Blind Jaya hearing their enthusiastic words says that Hanza has not even beaten yet how can she be so sure that no one will bypass her. Tan asks Lee if she is ready to make a bet with him and she agrees they bet on one level 3 mute and crystal and say that and will be their witness. Tang Kai and he turns around and leaves he says that he went to the toilet and if something interesting happens, then let them tell him later he leaves not at all in order to relieve himself but in order to catch. Hanzai and beat him so that he could not hit with hollow force and then the eye would not be able to win the bet. Hanzai heads to the aisle to the hall because it's his turn soon and it's time for him to get ready Dorogu is blocked by Tang whom Hanzai asks who he is. Sang Chi and he says they don't know each other but the kid became part of his argument. Hanzai says he's not interested in this guy's arguments. He asks him to move because he is standing in his way. Tang says Hanzai is too unfriendly. He says that if the guy helps him win the argument. Then from now on he will protect Hanzai then no one will offend him at the academy and will not get tired. Hanzai seemed to fall for his words brightening up and asked him if he really was the strongest and would be able to protect him Tan says that it really is. But after that Hanzai too says that he will do it and he does not need any help. Tang Kian is unhappy and says that the guy is a humorist because he bought it. But the trouble is he doesn't like jokers and swings for a punch. Hanzai also swings and they hit fist to fist. After which Tang realizes that the guy is damn good and strong. After that. Hanza asks Tankiness if he now needs protection in the person of hand. They are approached by Leon Jabo and Zuna who seeing the guy say that Tang forgot here if he went to the toilet. Having got his bearings, hugs Hanzai and says that he met this brother along the way and decided to make friends with him and Hanzai in turn says that brother Tang offered to take care of him. Chang Kai and he thinks about how long Hanzai will still be a defenseless lamb. And Hanzai thinks that Tang has muscles like King Kong and spirit like a marmalade. Hanzai turns around and says goodbye to the student union member saying that it's time for him to take a test. When Hanzai name is announced, everyone tenses up and prepares to look carefully at what will happen. Hanzai prepares and strikes with such force that the target breaks, and Rector Sun's jaw almost meets the floor due to shock. All the students look extremely surprised because this has never happened before and Hanzai surpassed all records and how he could be at the level of dexterity. The man conducting the test barely pronounces the result. Because the shepherd puppy of rank F is at the initial stage of dexterity, Rector Sun still can't come to his senses but still gathers himself and turns to old line with a request to check the serviceability of the device. Everyone starts to hum and say that there are probably problems with the equipment since even the teachers do not believe in this result and demand to replace the device. And Zunai says that Euro Euro recommended a real unique if her memory serves her right then until today. The shortest period from signing the beast to the initial stage of dexterity was two weeks. Euro says that indeed the record was two weeks. Yung Gong says that the student they are talking about eventually became one of the best soldiers in the history of their stronghold sit. At this time, Tang Chini thinks about how lucky he was that he still realized in time the ratio of his strength and Hanzai strength because otherwise he would have been severely beaten. And then the realization had him that he had just lost a level 3 beast 
use crystal. Students and some teachers continue to discuss the broken device someone says that the device probably broke. After that girl with the plan headed because her blow could well have affected the readings and further suitability. Reckley who came up to the device and started checking it says that everything is fine with the device and the result of Hanzai correct. Hearing this some students fell silent from disbelief but Jiang Zian and says that Hanzai is the best and she always knew this and believed in him. But Wayne Coyne was very angry because Hanzai victory in this test was a kind of slap in the face for him and Wang did not understand how Hanzai was able to check. Back. Wang Chi and thinks that he will not leave it like this and will show the trash his place. Leon Jabo is joyful and says that she is announcing a meeting of the student union to decide on the admission of Hanza to it and also reminds Tang about the crystal so that he does not forget it. And running out of the hall thinks about whether he will be forced to pay for a broken device. Because he knows these academic cheapskates perfectly well Doggy runs after Hanzi and he asks him not to leave. An old man Lai appears on the sidewalk who says that he was already going to go look. For Hanzai stopping the guy dejectedly asks if he still has to pay for the damaged device. Lee says that they are not such cheapskates to force a guy to pay for a fight because the initial stage of dexterity is the maximum that this model can withstand. Therefore, Lai was looking for him in order for Hanzai to pass another additional test. The words that the guy would not have to pay made him happy. Hanzai follows old man line, who leads him to a special test room where there is another model of a target which the old man asks him to hit. Hanzai strikes and Lai stands in shock because only five days after receiving the beast. He already has an average level of dexterity, taking himself in hand. Lee often said that it turns out that Donkey has weak innate skills, but an incredibly high ability to grow, at least at an early stage. Hanzai scratches the back of his head and says that apparently newcomers rarely demonstrate such progress. And old man Lai says that it is still an understatement and asks the young man if he is not getting too pale. Hanzai says that events in his life are developing rapidly and somehow he didn't even have time to study this issue in more detail. Old man Lee says he will try to briefly explain what's what in their academy. The progress of most of the third and fourth year students stops at the initial stage of dexterity and Hanzai has already surpassed them. After signing the beast the contractors grow together with their beast. On average contractors are 3 minutes 5 times stronger physically than ordinary people who do not have animals but at the same time the main strength of the contractor lies in his beast. This is due to the fact that the limits of one's own body are limited and the contractor can be truly strong only if there is a developed beast. Among contract beasts of the same level, the one with the best innate data is usually strong with the chances of a less gifted beast can be increased by teaching it combat skills. After hearing this, Hanzai thinks that the formula that Lai told him about is suitable for ordinary contractors and he has a system and it be just the growth of which affects him in a tenfold size. Hanzai can go the other way and is in Doggy's parrot as the young man who can become the main fighting force. Hanzai asks old man Lai about his martial skills and asks him to tell him more about them. Lee says that combat skills help to further develop the beast. In addition to its inherent talents, the more combat skills a beast has, the higher its chances of surviving in battle. Skills can be obtained as a reward or simply by contacting your teacher. Many teachers have a set of unique combat skills that they have developed themselves a kind of author's unique program. Y also says that if Hanzai continues to develop at the same pace, it is quite possible that he will be chosen to defend the honor of their academy at a nationwide student competition, where the winner gets a golden award as well as the opportunity to visit Forbidden Zones. Forbidden Zones are the most dangerous and scary places that are covered in mist, but it is there that you can find the most valuable resources. Hanzai think that in general the scheme is clear to him just like in any RPG game. From a past Past life that is the more difficult the quest the more valuable the reward. He goes to the gravity room where he simultaneously trains and checks the capabilities of the system. So far all this system can do is store food for the dog and show the characteristics of Hanzai himself. He asks Doggy what else he can do besides tenfold recoil? Perhaps he has some hidden skills that the system does not know about. Doggy doesn't answer anything except that he wants to eat Hanzai considers this a negative answer about awareness of martial skills. So he says he will ask my supervisor about it. The guy is used to double gravity so he wants to check triple gravity. A man appears behind him whom Hanzai immediately senses and attacks, but his hand is stopped and told that he has a good reaction. The young man does not understand how this uninvited guest entered the hall, why even Doggy did not warn about him and how he manages to stay so fast with triple gravity. The person asks how Hanzai was able to achieve the middle stage of dexterity, but Hanzai does not answer the question but asks the counter about who this person is. The man grins and Hanzai loses sight of him because he attacks from below hitting the guy in the solar plexus causing pain. He throws Hanzai up to the ceiling and disappears from the guy's side appearing from above and striking the young man's back with his fist causing him to fall to the floor with a terrible crash. The man says that the guy's body can withstand a lot but he definitely lacks combat experience. He does not understand how with such data he could take first place in the test. Dog he runs forward barking furiously and covering his master with his little body. 
The man began to be annoyed by the dog's barking so he demands that he be silent. Hanzai pulls the puppy to him and asks him not to be nervous because he will deal with this guest himself. The attacker turns out to be the rector, who is puzzled that a shepherd dog of rank F was able to resist under his pressure. Hanzai smiles and addressing the rector asks him if he really has no other business but to beat up students. Rector's son tells the guy that if he does not turn on at full power, then he can kill him. The system announces to Hanzai that a deadly threat has been detected and the true appearance skill needs to be activated. Hanzai mentally asks the system if this skill can be activated without changing the size of the pixel, but with an increase in all indicators to which the system responds that it is possible to try such a variation and Hanzai asks to activate the skill. The system announces that the skill has been applied but at the request of the host the size of the beast remains unchanged. Song looks at the guy and feels the pressure that he exudes and thinks that now Hanzai looks more like the person described by the security service. Hanzai attacks Song and begins to violently deliver chaotic punches. His strength and speed have increased significantly, but this is still not enough to defeat the rector. The rector strikes the guy's chest which causes him to bleed from his mouth, but Hanzai sees this blow as a good opportunity. So he grabs Sun by the hand and says that he got caught strikes him with the other hand of the right side. The rector says that this is not according to the rules and blocks the blow by flying away. Hanzai thinks that this time he finally delivered a crushing blow and managed to defeat Sun but the rector appears behind the guy and hits him. Hanzai says that the rector has a heavy hand and Sun says that they have been pampered and enough is enough. Hanzai asked what it was was he being tested again. Sun says that they are still trying to figure out the causes of the incident during the test since only the academy staff and members of the combat brigades knew the place of the test. The young man asks that they suspect that there is a spy sect in the academy and for some reason he became the main suspect. The rector says the Hanzai is the main suspect because in his report, he said that he dispersed the crystal eaters of the second level but did not mention the fight with a member of the SEC. Hanzai begins to scold the rector and says that he could just ask the guy everything that interests him and not attack suddenly. But Sun says only that next time the guy will know what will happen to him if he is dishonest in his testimony again. The rector says that now he is convinced that the young man could really defeat a member of the sect in his snake which means that the guy will have to explain in detail what happened that day. Hanzai tells everything in Sun. Amazed by the story says that it is unusual for a member of the sector. Purposefully come for a guy it's possible that their sect has their eye on donkey. The young man tells the rector that Chin Lai didn't tell him anything about the SEC last time. So he asks Rector Song to tell him everything. Sun says that the sector of the collapse of the world arose after the world was covered by a thickness by whom it was founded and where exactly no one knows the SEC professors the idea of a natural collapse of the world. Their followers are just a bunch of crazy fanatics. Ten years ago, they went to war with the combat brigades. After a series of large-scale battles, the combined army of the battle brigades defeated the sector at the cost of the loss of three strongholds. Since then, they have disappeared without a trace. Therefore, the appearance of sectarians at the trial was an extremely unexpected event for which no one was ready. After listening to the rector Hanzai asked the main question that interests him. Why did he get them song says that he does not understand the sectarians and what is going on in their heads, so he will not be able to give an unambiguous answer. But the fact of opening a hunt for Hanzai now not only is problem, but also the problem of the academy as a whole because they are responsible for the safety of the academy. The only thing that rector song can advise Hanzai is to study harder and keep an eye out. The current progress of the young man is not enough for sorties into the darkness or victory in the national student competition. Hanzai asked Song how strong the participants of these competitions are and the rector says that they are very strong. Hanzai may be the best among the newcomers of their academy, but this is still not enough to become the best among the best. The strength of students is strongly related to the value of resources near their main set. The higher the danger level of the mist, the higher the level of students. The city where the rector Hanzai and other students of the academy live is far from the most dangerous. After listening to the rector Hanzai smiles and asks Song if he is entitled to a reward due to the fact that his test results are the best. Sun dissatisfied with such a question says that he is not a shaggy sheep that can be shared. And he also thinks that he still needs to think about where to get the money so that Hanzai can cash the check that has already been issued. Hanzai says and who else should he cut in the language of the rector? If just the same song as the shag is here, the rector says the Hanzai is too selfish, but he is not even shy about this fact. But the guy says that the rector said that he needed to become stronger. But visiting the gravity hall is not free so money will not be superfluous song gives the guy a new combat skill as a reward for testing and disappears while Hanzai studies the brochure given to him. The departed rector thinks aloud about whether Hanzai will spread rumors that he fought with him almost on equal terms. Because in that case, son will have to kill the kid. He also thinks about why he decided to go to the guy because the price was the most valuable book with a combat skill and this is not a small loss. Hanzai calls the system window in order to integrate a new combat skill. The system notifies him that the activation of the combat skill provided by the host has begun. Due to the fact that Hanzai downloads a new combat skill, 
he gets access to the internal section where there is a general store or skill store equipment and attributes the host to his hands I can now find out the details of the downloaded combat skill. The combat skill is called Battle Roar. This skill is based on combat waves and now the guy has become interested in whether the rector has many more similar books. Hanzai cashes in on the master icon and Doggy masters the skill which the system notifies him about having a system mastering the skill happens instantly. Without it we would have to teach the dog step by step according to the instructions provided in the book. Then it comes to Hanzai since a martial skills store has opened for him then he can just buy them but everything turns out to be not so simple because the cost of skills exceeds 10 million. These are extremely insane prices. Hanzai asked the system how he can get points to buy combat skills. He is told that points can be obtained by exploring the midst and killing mutants. The system starts counting points only after unlocking the store and Hanzai says that the system is terribly great. After all, all he got from her was a little glutton and food for only three days for him. But Doggy does not understand what claims can be made to him because he is an ordinary dog. The young man tells the system that if she doesn't start behaving normally he will order Donkey to devour her. The system notifies him that the host is unfair. After opening most of the system's functions the system provides synchronous pumping of characteristics and mastering of combat skills. Under normal circumstances a combat skill mastered by a beast remains only with the beast. But thanks to the synchronization function after the beast has mastered this combat skill. It is also available for use by the host itself. The system shows the features of Doggy. The dog has 100% loyalty and tenfold return. The more he eats the stronger he gets after mastering the combat skill by the beast and completing synchronization. The same skill can be used by the host. Hanzai says the system has started to work better. The young man is now thinking about where to go to test a new combat skill and decides tomorrow to ask this question to the bike curator so that she can consult him and maybe at the same time it will be possible to extract some skill from her. In the morning Hanzai meets Insuna and Leon Jabo in the corridor who greet him with a smile and greet him. They say they were waiting for a young man. Jaya Jaya says that she forgot to introduce a beautiful girl which is Insuna the Isa that she is the vice chairman of the student union. Hanzai hearing the name and Zuna realizes that she is most likely a relative of his classmate. Leon Gio says they came for him to officially invite the guy to join the student union. He performed well on the entrance test and on the test in this regard as Vice Chairman and Suna invites him to join the student union up to this point. And Zuni was very worried about the meeting with Hanzai because today they have to assign him to the student union. Hanzai says joining the student union is great. But is there a fee in the student union free meals or other social benefits? Hearing this Leon Jiang faces and thinks that Hanza is invited to the student union by the deputy chairman herself. And the guy in turn thinks only about bonds. Why is there so much arrogance in this guy? Although he has achieved nothing. And Shuame says that the student union does have a salary and food after joining the student union he will understand that the salary is secondary. The main thing is that he will have access to all the best in the academy. He will also be able to apply for the study of the mist Hanzai lights up and smilingly asks about the prospects. For salary growth in my euro says that they will pay him at double the rate and asks if Hanzai agrees to such conditions. And the guy agrees. And Shuame approaches Hanzai handing him a document to fill out while Paul Ren is filling out this form. The girls are squatting and stroking Doggy, being touched by how cute he is. Jaya Jaya takes the puppy's hands and he lies down on her bust enjoying the soft bones and comfort. Hanzai noticing how Doggy behaves says that he is a petty pervert and takes the dog out of the girl's hands. The young man gives the completed form to Inzuna. And Shuame says that tomorrow the guy has to come to the student union for a batch then they complete a couple more formal procedures and that's it. And she also thanks Hanzai for taking care of her little sister. Hanzai goes to a lecture where curator by talks about the theoretical part of the lesson. She says that all the guys have already passed the entrance test and the level determination test and now it's time for them to get used to the student routine. The main tasks of any contractor is to pump your beast and become stronger yourself. To do this contract animals must always be in good shape. Hanzai thinks that he always tries to keep Doggy in good shape. Y continues to lecture and says that they have prepared a lot of tasks for each of the group. All tasks for beginners will take place in the city center. Basically these tasks are related to intelligence activities. One of the students asks the bank curator a question about whether they will be sent to more dangerous places after they complete all the tasks. But all the other students begin to say that there are unlikely to be serious tasks in the center the most they will do is to transfer old ladies across the street. Having heard that the guys are not serious about the central park he says that the center is much more dangerous than they think. There are hunters for contract animals and other criminals who are not low risk students will not be able to cope with each of them. Hanzai remembers the day when he met one of these hunters and thinks that these hunters are not so. Terrible curator by notices that Hanzai listens to her inattentively and throws a piece of chalk at him, telling him that if he does not want to die on a mission, then everyone must listen to her carefully and not wander in the clouds. She says they lost 20 newcomers last year. 
whatever the level of danger of the task, you need to take them seriously and not think that they are fenced off from the clutches of death the real world is full of cruelty and students should be prepared for it. The priority task during the task is to stay alive. Curator Bai says that now the guys need to be divided into teams of three and choose tasks for themselves. Students begin to surround Hanzai from all sides and invite him to their group or they want to be in a group with him but the guy refuses and says that he already has a team in which he is comfortable working. Zhyy smiles and says that it is better to work with proven fighters in whom you can be sure the three of them approach the table where the task brochures are aligned. There are only three tasks on the table. One task to escort the cargo The complexity of this task is low. It is necessary to escort the cargo with high-quality raw materials to the laboratory among the convoy accompanying this raw material. There will also be members of the combat brigade. Three commands are required to complete this task. Task to find the product The difficulty of the task is average a shipment of goods was stolen from Shell sales agents so it needs to be found and returned to the owner. Task 3 Catch the beast The complexity of the task is high. According to reports from the periphery, one of the contract animals got rabies and therefore began to attack ordinary people the condition of the beast was transmitted to its owner the team is required to capture the beast and its counter tourists if necessary to neutralize it. Zhyy asks Hanzai what tasks they will choose, but Hanzai reflects that all these tasks are quite simple and the reward for completing them as a penny therefore you need to choose the one for which he will get more points from the system. Hanzai asks the system if he can get points for killing the contract beast and its owner to which the system responds in the affirmative and Hanzai tells the guys that they will take task number 3. Curator Bai says that at the Faculty of Logistics, they are probably the only ones who can do this task, but Bai should remind them to act in proportion to their strength without trying to somehow stand out and get into trouble. She gives additional money aerials for each task and asks the guys to be careful. After completing the task, their work will be evaluated taking into account the accuracy of execution and complexity. Those who receive high marks will be given the opportunity to go to the study of the mist together with the student's staff. Students say that it doesn't look like a reward because it's extremely dangerous in the dark, and they almost died on the entrance exam anyway. Bai says that you can get a lot of points for exploring the mist, and they themselves understand what points can be spent on at the academy. Moreover, they will go to the mist in the company of the student union, which already guarantees a certain level of security. They will have the opportunity to get the crystals of high-level beasts, which are very highly valued inside the reference city. And also only there you can find valuable resources with which you can pump your environment for means of protection with a skillful approach. They can equip themselves with not the same students of the combat faculty. This is the end of Curator Bai's lecture she says that there will be no classes. After lunch they need to have a good rest in order to start performing tasks tomorrow. And Zhu approaches Hanzai and says that after lunch they are going to study the materials for the assignment. After all, it is difficult for them. Hanzai says it's a good idea but he won't be able to join them because he needs to see the curator by he is business with her. The young man approaches by supervisor and says that he wanted to ask her a couple of questions about combat skills. She says she will listen to him but first let him help her carry a stack of papers to the teacher's room by says that she will change her clothes and wait for him in the training room. Doggy and Hanzai are training in the gym and the system notifies that the furious war skill has been mastered synchronization with the host has reached 100%. Hanzai says that synchronization is rather slow but maybe in real combat all this will happen much faster. Curator Bai walks into the hall and tells Hanzai that she brought him combat skills. The guy is happy to say that she is too generous and a couple of receptions would be enough for him. Bai says that if so then she will show and teach him just a couple of techniques. Although initially she wanted to give him two skills to choose and Hanzai smiling awkwardly tells her to forget his words and that he has what tit and a couple of techniques. Curator Bai says that to begin with the young man should start training in an arbitrary bench press she asks to show everything he is capable of and she in turn will analyze his movements and select the most suitable skills for him. Hanzai tells Bai to watch his training carefully Curator Bai sits on the sofa folds her hands in hopes that the guy will not disappoint her. Hanzai begins to train and Bai already notices his mistakes. For a start he has strong but very clumsy punches but at the same time he combines attacks the woman stops Hanzai and says that his combinations are completely haphazard so only hooligans fight in doorways so half of his strength goes nowhere. She says that now she is showing by her example how it is necessary. He stands in front of Hanzai swings his foot and hits the air which is caught by a dartboard standing behind Hanzai hitting the wall as well. The guy runs up to Bai and asks to teach him as well. She says that he is still far from such speed and accuracy of glows as hers. But on the other hand, he will be able to carry out joint attacks with his beast as she does. Most contractors teach skills to their animals, but they do not master these skills themselves. Most of the time they direct the beast while they themselves watch from the side and those who manage to work in conjunction with their beast have a great advantage over them. Hanzai thinks that taking into account the system and the three features of Doggy, the guy will have an advantage in front of the curator of the fight itself. The woman gives him a new combat skill called Mimicry. 
he selects techniques for the bees taking into account its characteristics. The guy clicks on the master button which appeared in the system window by keep saying that at least take her so she taught her beast this skill. After a while she began to discover techniques in herself that she could not master herself before. The system notifies that the combat skill mimicry has been mastered. Taking into account the specifics of the skill the contact beast has also mastered the following technique namely the devil's mouth. Curator by says that while Hans eye is at the most basic level and is unlikely to notice any changes because it should take some time before. Curator bind does not have time to finish because Hans eye uses the skill and attacks the target no worse than by herself. The guy grins and says that he seems to have done well. Curator by looks at the guy with disbelief and thinks that this kid is a monster. She says that the skill is mastered by the contractor only after practicing joint attacks with the beasts. She sits down on a chair and hunched over sadly says that at one time it took her a little more than a month. She says that she was going to spend a couple of weeks to slowly bring Hanzai to new knowledge to new combat skills. But apparently there is no need for this and she gives him all the fighting skills. Han and Laban says that he is very grateful to the curator by and she leaves the hall shocked and dejected. Saying that the guy should study and she should go home because he does not need her here. But Hanzai returns the woman because since she has already come she can work out with him a little. By beamed and thought about the fact that she hadn't even shown him even basic evasion techniques. She's thinking about kicking his ass so that he doesn't get proud before the time. The curator says that since the guy asked so much then she will stay and practice with him. The beast of curator by is a semi-lunar Capricorn. A huge animal similar to a goat but more massive and standing on two paws she asks Hanzai if he is ready and he gets into position. Their training begins. The next day the young man goes to the square where his comrades are waiting for him. He apologizes for the delay and says that yesterday he was a little exhausted in training. That's why he overslept today. Zhu he says that Sai seems to be addicted to training. Because even before completing a task, the gym does not miss and Zhu says it's time for them to move out. And curator Bai is still not there. She was going to give them one last instruction before the road. Hanzai does not recognize Enzu and jumps off who she is. And the girl confused asks if he is okay because he scares her. Hanzai apologizes to Zu and says he just didn't get enough sleep. And the curator by feels bad so you don't have to wait for her and moves forward immediately. And Zu tells Hanzai that yesterday afternoon they studied the materials of the assignment in detail. They were waiting for the guy to join them. But this unfortunately did not happen. Zhyy asks why brother Hans stood them up yesterday. Hansai scratches the back of his head and says that he just wanted to pump up a little before going to the back to be at least a little ready. But in the end, he got too carried away. Zhu smiles and says that she knew he had left a train so they will bring him up to date at the cafe. Sitting in a cafe, the trio examines the materials of the assignment where there are many photos of victims of animal attacks and the contractor and Zhu says that this little contract animal appears in some photos. So most likely this is their goal. Zhyy is amazed at how a girl can drink coffee while looking at photos of the dead and injure Hanzai says that the animal looks like a rat. At the same time, a young man is lying in the sewer, who shudders in a terrible fit and calms down a second later. The little rat runs up to him who is huddling up to his halsey and the guy apologizes to the animal and asks him to apologize for scaring him again. The intervals between his seizures are getting shorter. In this state, this young man is collecting all the ingredients so he urgently needs to beg for an antidote. The guy strokes the rat and asks her not to be afraid for him because everything is fine with him. If it weren't for the rats, he wouldn't be able to do anything. The young man gets to his feet takes the animal a bag of ingredients that he was able to collect and goes to the door located deep in the sewer. The person who is in the laboratory asks the guy who came why he came back so quickly. Did he really find everything he needed? The young man hysterically says that he brought almost everything he asked for but his seizures happen too often and he can't do it anymore. The man in the hoodie says angrily that the young man is pathetic. Does he really think that he will recommend such a scum as this pathetic poor Ren to accept him into the sack? The young man begins to ask for help, but he is rudely shut up and told to go look for the rest of the ingredients and not to bother his eyes in the laboratory. Annoying with his presence, he gives him some ample and tells him to get lost. The young man takes the ampoule and says disappointed that he will now go on an errand. Hanzai and his comrades are still sitting in the cafe studying the materials in the same institution. A girl is invited whose animal is grass she raises her hand intending to say hello to the guy but abruptly changes her mind thinking that the guy is busy and she does not want to distract him. Zhiyuai asks Sai how long they will sit in this cafe and sour here and Su replies to him that didn't why hear what curator Bai was saying it can be very dangerous on missions. So if there is a serious threat and Zhu will not save him. The guy says that he does not need your help because he has a brother Hanzai but he can put anyone down. Su says that Y is probably going to hide behind Hanzai all his life isn't he planning to develop himself. Hanzai who has been studying the materials all this time says that it seems that the picture is taking shape. First two people were killed by a beast that was already susceptible to rabies. The claw marks of small animals are visible on the bodies of the dead and injured. Secondly, the pictures show that the houses of the victims were robbed. 
they took everything in a row indiscriminately. Since this happened in the periphery, it is impossible to be sure that it was a murder for the purpose of robbery or other robbers got into the house after the murder. The first thing Hansi suggests is to inspect the victims' homes themselves. ZHYY asks if this is a good idea. It seems to him that such tasks are more suitable for combat brigades and Sue says that they already have few people the ranks of combat brigades are thinning with each sortie. Now they barely have enough personnel to restrain the defense if they had had time for this task. They would not have given it to the students. Hansi smiles and says that then they will become a mini combat brigade themselves. He suggests dividing the duties between each other so that it will be easier for them and Sue says she will provide logistics after raising the level of her phone will cope with this better than anyone. Hansai will be the main fighting force and CUI will do investigative work which does not please Y too much and he expresses indignation. But Hansai says not to despair because his role is important. At the exit from the cafe, Hansai runs into Wang Qian and the second one says that the glorious trinity of the logistics faculty a dog a deer and a goose got in his way. On the road. Hanzai is Kian's friend whom the young man pushes aside and asks not to block the passage and this makes Wang Kian very angry because his joke was ignored by Sai and his friends. Wang Kian thinks that if it weren't for Hanzai peculiar puppy, but he would have already been able to lick KY. Zhyey tells Wang Kai that the beast is only in the middle stage of sabotry. He's no match for Hanzai so he doesn't understand why he has so much conceit. Wang Qian's friend suggests that he teach these three a lesson before completing the task, because what do they allow themselves? But these words make brother Wang angry he grabs his friend and furiously asks what he plans to do because the Hanzai puppy is at the initial stage of dexterity. Another friend tries to smooth over the situation and says that it is not necessary to go into a head-on collision. You can stir up something when they do the task. Wang says it's a good idea because they study together and need to help each other. Zhang Xiaoan appears behind Qian and his friends and says that she heard what they were saying here. She tells them not to mess with Hanzai and his team Wang Qi and asks her why she stands up for Hanzai if she is studying at the martial faculty. Wang Qi and his friends say that they discussed helping Hanzai so let her calm down and sit down. Xiaoning uses force because she is evil. But before she leaves she says that it would be better for them if they really helped them. After leaving Qian's friends say that Zhang Yuan in his heart. They turn to Wang Qi Min, who looks more gloomy than a cloud. They asked him what's wrong with him, but he pointedly replies that Hanzai is a corpse and his days are numbered. 